Thank you again for another donation coming in there. And we are into game number one, Doubt versus Hera. It's going to be on Hippopotamus. Doubt is playing Japanese, Hera playing Malians. Yeah, and listen, I'd love to break down the SID bonuses for you, but this is just not the map. We do not have the time. You're going to have the, the first talking point be where are they taking wood? And we've seen a lot of players actually move away from the poor hippo's eyes to the back corners to avoid any possible aggression there. So it's notable to me that they both taken there. And then from there, it's how do you spend it? Are you docking in the very north near the ears where there's a bit more fish? Uh, or are you choosing to dock uh, actually close by where there's more shore fish available? Um, and, and then it just stems from there, Dave. How many docks do you go for? Yep. Is it a barracks? Is it a range? Is it a stable? There's just so much you can I th do. I think you have to dock the fish. I think that's been pretty well established. Yeah. The first step is to dock the fish. So you, number one, you decide where your woodland's going to be. Is it going to be on the outer edges, on the border? Is it going to be on one of those eyes? Number two is go out to that dock with two villagers, because if you go out with one, you're going to get punished, a.k.a. the scout coming over from Doubt here, as he's trying to lame Hera, maybe um, greeting out with one villager. Hera is a GL player, by the way, not an AM player. He still has not changed his, his, mm, his name. But, yes, uh, yes. We can... We can change that. Don't Very worry. Interesting. Folks, listen, we will edit this out later on. Yes, all right? This, We've got a this great is production gone in team. post. It doesn't even Absolutely. exist. Absolutely. It doesn't exist. A exactly. Everything's good. Uh, but anyways, two villagers is a great call here, Dave, to keep uh, villagers protected. But this is like, you're right. This is the established start. Probably has to be this. From here, you've got a great temptation to go for infantry opening for both civs. You've got the Japanese, which have the faster attacking infantry, and then you have the Malians with the additional pier summer, which is great against a follow-up from archers. So, But it's really tough to go infantry when you're also thinking about navy. Yeah, it's true. And you're trying to split your resources, right? Yep. And you have to get everything optimal so you can go towards that build. Doubt getting that first fishing ship out a little bit faster than Hera. He saved the wood on the lumber camp so he could afford to get that dock up slightly faster. Hera, he's got cheaper docks and cheaper wood buildings with Malian, so that's going to add up more as the game goes on. And typical, right? Doubt is scouting the map. Hera, what's he doing? He's pushing Zebra. Yep. <laughs> and Hera's like, I can get away with a little bit more food. Mm -hmm. But Doubt's going to need that scouting until t today, and he's really going to need to find the right spots to pressure here. So I would say that the Japanese have the, the more fluid opening up towards, let's say, your, your second uh, military building, so whatever's after that barracks. Um, but then the Malians begin to feel a bit stronger with their wood savings, because they save wood on all the wood buildings they build throughout the game. Mm -hmm. The Japanese, it's on the lumber camps, mining camps, mills, which is obviously right now. Um, but yeah, it's notable that they're taking wood right here. Like, that is heavy pressure territory, and players may choose to wall towards their TCs from that wood line. Yep just to protect themselves. Also, the scouting on the dock, I mean, you know your, your opponent's probably going to go up for that dock, but we've seen some variance in that, right? Like, Andy tried to dock block there. Maybe that's a strategy they've been they've been practicing, right? So you just have to confirm exactly where the dock is early, and you can see Doubt, he's just kind of patrolling back and forth. He's getting himself some information. Yep. What is Hera going to open with? And then, of course, he's going to use that scout to support the militia, and Hera, at the same time, is like, listen, man, I know those militia are coming. I'm going to hang out here with the scout, and then I'm going to track him all the way back to my base. This was a bit of an adaptation for Doubt. He scrambled a couple more villagers to gold than he normally would, and he built that barracks with two villagers. So he definitely felt like he could maybe get the timing down. Mm -hmm. And I think this is Doubt adapting to where he sees Hera taking wood. I think we may even see, as he runs kind of away from this, a tower of some kind. Yep. It, the tower might actually happen on the gold more than anything, but... It's very interesting that Doubt is so scared for that wood line immediately. Like, he walls it off right away. Yeah. Right? Like, wh what is what is Hera going to be sending over there? Hera's not really the guy to open with infantry. Yeah, but... He's going to open scouts. I think anything you can do right now when it's peaceful... Oh, yeah, true. Make, you you do have some bills. sort of lull time. Yeah, correct. Like, now it's peaceful. Because it's going to get crazy later on. You can't manage as well as, as Hera, maybe. So, I like that. It'll only get awkward if he tries to get more villagers to the wood line. Here comes a tower now from Doubt. Now... Initially, you might not think this is really taking away much, but if that tower goes up, then the man at arms could likely take out the stable, and then Hera's going to be stable. Begun, begun the tower wars have. This is like this is a complex hand of poker here, where Doubt is trying to bait Hera into using his stone, and Hera doesn't want to complete that tower. Yep. He's going to delete that. He's going to make a new one, and Doubt might even back away from this tower because he's only got three bills. <laughs> there we go. And now he's now he's doing the math in his head. Yeah. At like like how much stone did he use?
Yeah, absolutely. I'm really curious on like, do, what do, what is Doubt seeing right now? This is Doubt's point of view. Mm -hmm. So he saw the tower foundation. He has the ability to delete his tower, but he's getting close to running out of stone. And this has given Hera a little bit more time to mass more scouts. You got the fire galley action. We got some repairs there as well. There's a lot of things happening right now, but those are Japanese man at arms. Doubt looking to be aggressive and kill Hera early here. And uh, Hera's house could go down here. Hera's got to get that house up quickly. And, and he does. Of course he does. He's always on time, it seems like. And the men at arms can't find a way in. Hera goes for another house on the other side. But Doubt defending successfully on the water. And you could see that he was uh, he was running pretty smooth, actually, for late at night. Doubt was, Doubt was moving pretty quick there when we well, went to the POV. He, Doubt, Doubt goes, he comes in, he sees how long the one game was going. He goes, oh my god, I'm about to start my third Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, three Red Bulls to Doubt is kind of like... You know, one that's Red like Bull to another. Yeah, true. <laughs> no, a yeah, normal that's true. sized human. <laughs> <laughs> Any of the recommendations on the nutrition facts are not recommending yeah, yeah, to they, a person of doubt. They need size. a separate doubt label for sure. <laughs> oh man, great find here from Hera. I believe he misclicked the dock, but he's going to end up getting those two villagers. So that's something doubt forgot about. Mm -hmm. And then also, yeah, I mean, while you have this happening, you also have the uh, the tower situation too, where I'm still not sure, but doubt. Yeah, his tower did complete. So I actually think Doubt's had a ton of success here. Yep. He's been forcing reactions from Hera. And yeah, Hera's known as a player who can handle a lot. But, but this he's is just one fish step too. too many for him. Yeah, right he's now. losing the fish. And look, he's in on the gold. Hera pulls the villagers away. Of course he does. And Hera, I think, is running around Doubt's CC with those scouts. He's looking for value. But because Doubt walled in that wood line so yep. early, because he's got a spearman here, he's got a fire galley here, I don't know if these scouts are going to add much value. And Doubt is going to get insane insane fishing eco from those villagers. Yeah, Dave, I don't want to be, I don't want to come off too extreme here, but we, I, I believe Doubt's strategy has worked perfectly so far. Mm -hmm. Like, not enough to win the game, but he's got a big economic lead because he's been able to take all the shore fish that was thought out. That's a big part of this map we talk about. We've seen Doubt before have the perfect strategy and not quite be able to apply yeah. the finishing blow. This is his moment. Yeah, Hera's also trying to take some of that food, but he went for a mill instead of a dock, right? So it's going to be hard to protect those vills. He lost the fishing chips. Zero on gold for Hera, because he t can't take gold from that uh, that main area that Doubt has made the houses on. Yep. So he's also kind of lame that. And now Doubt just kind of heads over with some more villagers. He could even choose to make a dock on Hera's side here, which would be, I think, really devastating. You could take the fish from it, and you kind of control the movements from yep. Hera. Hera's going to try and nerd out a bit now. He's not under any pressure, so he can try and micro those scouts. Doubt's got some spears headed home. Doubt's being very adventurous <laughs> with those three villagers. And Hera can't take any of the shore fish there. Vodka could double click the shore fish just to show people. We've got the little white boxes around any of the shore fish. A li little there's bit further up even, there's, there's like, a lot of food, there's food there. everywhere yeah. there. And that's 200 a piece and villagers collecting shore fish is faster than most sources in the it's game. It's a stable though. It's a stable behind from Doubt. Wow. That's kind of incredible, and Hera doesn't really have any vision on that. Uh -oh. So the question is, how does Hera respond to this situation? He knows he's under pressure. He can't take gold currently. He's on stone still, but there's really nowhere to pressure with a tower. Yep. And these scouts aren't really finding value. And you can see it. He's desperate. He's like, man, why can't I out-micro this one spearman? Yep. I'm trying to get value against the villagers. A great job from Hera to get some value, though. Finally gets the micro away and ends up killing a villager there. I mean, he needs more damage and futile. Mm -hmm. Doubt will eventually run out of the fish, but Doubt's thinking, if I can get to Castledge and make a couple knights, Hera has no defense for that. Just the wild thing for me is that Doubt is baking the stable behind Hera's base. Like, <laughs> and this the blacksmith from within vision, too. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, I'm here. <laughs> I mean, I I'm going to sound like a broken record here. This strat's insane, yep. right? Like, Doubt has played incredible here. 900 it food. Yep. 600 gold when he clicks up, and he's on the way to Castle Age. He's got villagers behind. Hera is going for a dock at the back there, though. Can we switch to Hera's POV just so we can see um, whether he can spot this dock or, sorry, all that placement back there? He does see the blacksmith. He knows he something's the over there, yeah. So, like, this would be classic doubt if he just doesn't have any protection for yeah. these villagers yeah. whatsoever. And Hera's going to try and feast on him. But there are scouts from doubt. There's also the fire. Mm -hmm. And there's also man at arms still. So, awkward times right now for Hera. And you don't really need that much more time right now if you're doubt. You need to be safe for two minutes. And then you've got knights headed into Hera's eco. And Hera hasn't even clicked up yet. Yep, he does have a market, though. 
So Hera's resources are rising. He's got a decent amount of farms. But, I mean, Doubt being Castle Age, he's going to have some really powerful units that Hera's going to really struggle against. Yeah. And you see Bloodlines coming in for him. So I think it's going to be a knight play from Doubt. And once the knights are in, rolling around <laughs> Hera's eco, like, what, what, why would, like, huh? I, you know, there is going to, there could be a point in this game where Doubt, if he ever gets counterattacked, he's not making any knights from home. He doesn't have anything at home. It's full attack for Doubt. Who's what, like 37, 38, Harris 23? Like, big age difference. Both players so experienced, though, even though they, no one's really been around as long as Dow. Yep. And Double I, stable in the back. Look at this energy. Double dude. stable in no the back. No fear. No fear. No fear at all. I, the only thing I would love to see back here is, is a dock. Because then you can get some like demos garrisoned yeah, in yeah, there, yeah. and then Hera has to really respect. Watch him go! Watch him go! Siege workshop on his face right now. I mean, he could go siege workshop. A monastery seems unlikely because of all the scouts. the scouts. And look at Hera just run right past him, right? He doesn't respect it at all. He's gonna take out the fire galley. He's making fire galleys of his own. I love the dock placement there from Hera, and there's oh, the a demo repair. on the way too. The there was a demo on the way from Hera. Uh, yeah, I mean those villagers are stacked up nicely for a demo hit. Doubt's got to be careful. And Doubt, though, it's still taking really good engagements, and he should have time to pull away from a demo. But you got to hit the wood line right now from Hera. Hera's wood line's exposed. Market. There's a market for Doubt. I think the demo is coming out. I think the demo is coming out any second now. Right? Where surely. 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 Oh, surely, Doubt. Oh, he sacrifices too. He says, fine, take it. That's fine. <laughs> take it. I give you these two villagers. I will have one left over. Where can Doubt find damage? It's got to be that wood line. It's got to be that wood line. Hera, it might not be fully walled there yet. You've got to check that. Here's oh my the Siege God, Workshop dude. on Hera's face. Hera can see this. I can't imagine how intimidated he feels, but those knights need to hit the wood, and Hera, realizing this, will drop some houses. Sit quick walls. And that's maybe why Doubt didn't go to the wood line. Yep, but <laughs> Doubt is just sitting under the TC. He's sitting under the TC, he's forcing idle time, he's got a siege workshop at the back. Oh, I mean, he deletes he his own house! He deletes the house! Hera thought that was his own house! Doubt's like, I lived here, you fool! I planned this from the beginning! <laughs> That's crazy! And even Hera just having to leave the gold for a second is such a big problem. Look at the idle time from Hera. Hera's got 45 population, he's got no real solid army, and Doubt already has six knights hoovering around the Hoovering! Space. Oh my goodness, and it's a battering ram, just to make things awful. Yeah. Absolutely awful for Hera, right? Maybe you could snipe a Mangonel. Battering ram is going to be a little bit more difficult with the knights involved. Damn, dude, Doubt is not letting up on the pressure, and now he's got that market if he ever needs to balance his eco, maybe get some more knights on the field. Things are getting awfully difficult for Hera. He's got the monastery now, but where are you hiding these monks? These villagers are about to get very, very dizzy. There's going to be a change of elevation into yep. the TC, out of the TC. Hera's going to have to... Hope the TC and the villagers and whatever knights he has helps enough to keep this TC alive. His TC is about to be eaten here, Dave. His TC is absolutely about to be eaten. The only thing I would love to see from Doubt is maybe plus two armor, but Hera doesn't even have fletching. And Doubt is now making a monastery. Was the plan to wall him in on a hippopotamus? Guys, yeah, I mean, Hera's been completely surrounded. Doubt can't get pulled out of position. This is what I mean. So sometimes you actually want that forward villager to be repairing that ram. Hera's going to drop a TC That's in, the, very clever. in the middle. It's the only place he could go, yep. really. Like, Doubt's got him cornered. Doubt's yep. got him cornered on a wide open map, somehow. Yep. yep, there's a monk there. There's a monk to get a conversion. Hera needs this conversion. He gets it. The villagers hop out. That ram's not going to be enough. The ram will go down. Hera's still alive. But he loses vills. He loses some vills in the process. 10 to 6, eco KD. He's not, gonna have food. Of he's not going to be able to make more knights. Yeah, yeah. Hera's been idled on the foodie goat forever, but he's got monks coming out. He's got camels coming out. Look at him. He's trying to run <laughs> around. He's like, my TC is getting value one little arrow at a time. Ring around the rose. <laughs> and <laughs> Doubt comes back again towards that gold. However, Hera is up to the task with the quick walls. And Hera manages to take care of that. Doubt <laughs> this is still a, putting this is so much pressure. Dude. This so is, much pressure. This is ridiculous. This is so funny. But I, I think Dow could actually leave the TC now. Mm -hmm. Like you've actually you vital Harris Eco significantly. Scout. If you're Doubt, you got it. You got to make sure he hasn't expanded anywhere else too. Yeah. But at the same time, like you don't want Hera to have room. Yeah. You're finding yeah. so much success, keeping him penned in, 
and you just want to continue this trend. Uh, Hera's got a bunch of weak God. knights there under the TC. Doubt has a bunch of weak knights too. And I think Doubt wins this engagement. Yeah, he wins it. He wins it. Hera can't make more units. Now Hera could try and stall. He does have the second TC. But the villagers cannot hop out yeah. without dying here. He has no fish. He has no food income. He has 11 food in the bank right now. He's got villagers trying to take out rams. He's got knights eating his TC. I don't know if Hera has enough to overcome this. The TC is too weak. The villagers can't get inside, yep. so he has to repair it. Constantly hop out to the other side. But here comes another ram, and that'll give more villagers for doubt to target. Yeah, and, and Hera needs a conversion. He needs it now. He can get it. The TC may go down though. Hera's economy is in shambles right now. His TC will stay up, but he loses more villagers. He has to repair again, hop inside again, and still he fights on. He's alive. Like he is alive. And we've seen Hera come back from worse. Have we? I, I think so. <laughs> I just say that because we've literally seen Hera like defend with nothing before. And I just assume we have. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, he's got the second town center, the eco count. This is not great. The res collected. The res collected is is actually better than I thought it would be mm -hmm. here, and it's going to be a long series here, right? But I, I I do just wonder what doubts eco looks like at home. We don't really have time though. Second TC. Yeah. Okay. So like five farms, a couple yep. more. Okay. So he's expanding it a bit more. Yep. And he's still got the fishing ships alive, which Hera lost really really early, right? Yep. He's coming back with the knights. He might snipe another villager. No, of course not. Hera manages to save that, and I, I'm honestly astonished that Hera has only lost 17 eco units. I think units. if Doubt went in with two rams instead of one, that TC's dead already. He's got two now. Oh, he's got two rams now. So let's see what happens. I mean, because you know the Vils are going to hop out. Yep. So you got to have knights on the right it, side. They're not there. They're not there. And Hera loops around with his knights. He's going to hop inside the TC with the villagers. Knights didn't get any hits on the villagers there. Hera is absolutely going to eat this ram again. And another ram push <laughs> isn't enough to kick Hera out of this game. 42 villagers and a dream from the Canadian. We've got 60 villagers from Doubt. It's, oh, boy. But it's a look at Hera's Q. He's got one knight in Q. The mm -hmm. two knights he does have collectively have... I don't know, 30 HP. Those villagers have been standing singing Kumbaya for the last 20 minutes for all we know. And he can't, he doesn't have the gold to make many more monks. Yep. D Doubt, now that he's on two TCs, he's adding the farms. We got another Ram go. Doubt has done enough to win this game. He's just got to finish off Hera. <laughs> and Hera says, I'm not going to let you do that again. Eventually, eventually, <laughs> that Doubt is learning. Look, he's pulling the yeah. ram away. He's like, he's like, come to me. <laughs> no, I will feast. Yeah. I mean, okay. And Harris says, all right, bro. Yeah. We can play this game but, all day. But Doubt can make more knights all, all, all day. He can make more uh, more rams. And surely this is the end. First game of the series. Harris doesn't want to give up. How many more rams die in this game? I don't know, but the sad thing is what Doubt's doing is completely fine. It's yep. good. Like, no, Hera no, still no, has no. 20 vills. So. That's so many vills idled. Yeah. That's crazy, right? If we were to see, like, the worker efficiency in this yep. game, it, it, it's going to be so much idle time for Hera. And we look at the eco for Doubt. It's just climbing behind this. He's got yep. 69 vills. It's nice. Yep. Hera's heart rate. We haven't talked about the heart rate. Spiked up three, uh, 30 over the past, like, a couple engagements here. So... Maybe he felt like he defended from the first push. Now it's starting to, it's sinking in that he is, oh is going to lose this. And I mean, it's just villager after villager. Yeah, and another ram goes down. It's a bad day to be a ram. It's also a bad day to be a villager. But at this point, you can just bait the rams. And there's no villagers left. That TC has, there's no company to yeah. keep that TC alive. He, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and now Doubt runs back. Here we go. OK, this ram might survive. Come on, ram. Okay, the ram's gonna die, Dave. No, but, it was born I mean, to die. I, I, but, 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 TC yeah. goes TC down. TC goes down. TC goes down. TC goes down in the ram. Will it live? Nope. Well. But, you know, if you're Hera right now, I know you want to expand your farms. You, you're thinking, I hope his eco isn't good, right? Yeah. Because sometimes yeah, 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 yeah. he's surely, all... Surely he's all in here. Yeah. Now, <laughs> proceeding to add the fourth town center. Yeah, exactly. So there is that. It's the first game of the series. Hera, you know, may want to warm up a little bit more or something, even though they've been playing practice games and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think Hera, okay, sees, he actually sees the second GG. TC. He, he is on one TC himself, he knows, and he calls the GG. And what did we hear Doubt say? Doubt said, it's exactly as I expected. Yep. 
when he discussed the draft across from us in, in the back room and Dow gets the first win. It's like he predicted Al Harrow would play it and found the counter there. I love how he just like confidently takes a sip of his Red Bull. Like I do this for a living. <laughs> <laughs> I also notice I also notice at these events that a lot of players immediately drink their beverage. Yeah. Like immediately. And I don't do that. Well no, because you can't, you're not drinking during the game. Yeah, but I mean immediately after the game, they're just like it, within two seconds, they're drinking something. Are you regularly playing in tournament lands? Well, uh, well okay, there's no need to bring that up here. <laughs> All right? There's nothing wrong with being a caster. It's what my mom told me. But no, um, I don't know. I just find it interesting because I don't think I do that. But I'm also severely dehydrated, so that could explain it. That was an epic that game. Was an epic game. That was I, an epic game. Like, I, I wonder if... That was the plan from Doubt to like shift his villagers forward and start making forward buildings and slowly trap them in, or yeah. if that was just really great adaptation to the initial push that he had. Yeah, you know what was? It, it's such a small thing, but Hera made the first fire galley. A strategic opening from him was to go fires. Doubt didn't include any of that, mm -hmm. and Hera lost that fire. It didn't get any value. Now part of that's because he was up against Japanese, but like. Hera normally pulls that fire back, repairs it, adds mm -hmm. the next one. But he was, he was just under so too much pressure. Yeah, yeah, he was so yeah. under so much pressure and so distracted he couldn't. And another thing, and I think more people need to do this, is the shorefish on that sh that marsh area there. Mm -hmm. Doubt fully saturated that. It's a shame we left the game, but I bet you he must have had six or seven different mills. Yep. All but along that. The, well, no, he had he had docks. Dock on that. Docks on that. He had, yep. I think, two separate docks or something like that. Yep. And the most important part of that is he made one fire galley, had it near the villagers, and then had spearmen near those villagers. And yep. then the wood line that we mentioned earlier, he walled that off early. Yep. So he didn't need to quick wall it, right? So Hera's game plan, like Doubt predicted, is to run around with the scouts and snipe villagers, snipe units. He couldn't do that because Doubt was fully prepared, and that meant that Doubt could focus all of his attention on the push, yep. and Hera couldn't get away with just, you know, limited defense. That was that was epic strategy there from Doubt, plain and simple. Hera now, he's been in this position before where he loses the first game, and then he brings it back. It's a best of five. We see Hera's home map, and we do have the Armenians. We talked a yep. bit about this. We expected Hera would do this. The uh, civil One of two civilizations that have that mule cart, which can lead to pretty inefficient, or pretty efficient rather, uh, wood chopping on a map where you cannot build on the rock terrain. So Doubt won't have the luxury of that efficiency uh, as Hera is getting trolled by the, the Ibex there. But Doubt goes for the Gajaras, a sieve that I think is pretty solid on this map. Uh, but, you know, give me your thoughts. What's the approach with Gajaras? Because we, we've seen Armenians before. Like, you use the mule cart, maybe you go into infantry, or maybe you can just play scout skirm yeah. like Hera did before. But what about Gajaras? Yeah, I think I think scouts is fine. Okay. I think you open scouts, and then you pretty much adapt from there. Um, Armenians can kind of do the same. I, I doubt anyone's going to go for, like, any man-at-arm archer play. However, for what it's worth, this is actually one of the best maps to go man-at-arms because you can't wall around your wood yep. with the Palisades. So Hera's not a man at arm player anymore. Uh, Doubt doesn't have a sieve where you can realistically do that, but it's something I mean, to think about. I, you say that, but I've seen Doubt go Cav Archers with a sieve where you realistically can't do that well, either. Well, those were misclicks, I think. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and it might it might just be a mind game. I yeah, mean, yeah. He, was, he was saying before this, he's like, you know, someone brought up the Goss on Rocky Forest, and he said, no, Rocky Forest is going to be likely be Hera's home map. Yep, yep. Because he plays it so well, and yep. it suits his style perfectly. So, Doubt might want to go for a strategy mix-up that Hera can't scout, and especially because a lot of the times Hera spends so long pushing in the ibex or pushing in the deer, That's true. he's not scouting early. Yeah, I, I, I 100% agree, and I think those mix-ups will come. The downside here with the Gajar is it's like to take advantage of the sheep bonus. Yeah, you gotta mill right away. Yeah, exactly. And then he's gone to wood, and, and you see his wood count. That's just not really going to be at a it's spot. It's not conducive to make a barracks right yeah. now. I mean, there are I have seen builds right, but I, I think it's not going to feel too comfortable for Dow economically. So but you think Doubt open scouts here? Yeah, I, I could okay. see scouts. Doubt's not a uh, he's not a great archer opener. Mm -hmm. um, he he would prefer to go like scouts into archers or something along those lines. And actually, something to pay attention to here is if they hit feudal age at the same time and they're anywhere near each other. Um, Did that Doubt lose a build to the boar? He must have. <sighs> Can we zoom in on the TC and try and find the body? Yeah, I see it. It's a male villager. 
It is a it is a male villager, middle aged, about five eleven, shirtless. <laughs> D ninety lives in Florida. He hears this every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Florida it man! Is a Florida is man! Florida down, man has lured in too many dives Died to wildlife uh, underneath the town center. That's, you know, if there's one thing I know about doubt is, and then a lot of players they they don't judge themselves on like the result as much as they judge what they should and could have done, right? Mm -hmm. And losing a villager underneath your TC is just horrible at this level. Yeah, it, yeah. it is not something that should ever happen. Obviously now it has happened. You can't bring that villager back to life. No. Nope. But uh, a little painful here. Now Hera needs to get away from this. Yeah. You do not want to be fighting no, a, a and camel No, and scout. he should know. He should know that Doubt is, you know, playing with him a little bit. But knowing Hera, he's trying to- He thinks to, he's faster. Yeah, he thinks he maybe has one less oh! second of vital TC time. <laughs> Doubt's there at exactly the same time. 6.20 for both of them. And then Hera turns around real quick. That was cool. That was really cool. I like what both players were thinking there. At the end of the day, the scout is, uh, I think, like 0.05 faster or something. So it can actually get away. Mm -hmm. And it, I was wrong. It's an archer opening here for Doubt. So archer spear probably a play from him. Yep. Hera's going to go scouts. And then if he knows it's archers would- need to switch into something like skirmishers. Okay, Doubt pulls away from the Spearman. Good control there. Hera pushing forward, and he's got his stable up, so Hera will start to use the mobility of those archers, and Doubt's gonna have to be really cautious when he comes forward with these range units. He needs to accompany them with Spearmen. You do can't leave them alone because Hera will 100% snipe them. Do Armenians have a line of sight bonus for infantry? Or am I just, do I feel like that speed? Well, I mean, if only if only we had something uh, to let us it's know. It's not working. Oh. <coughs> what, 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 what? Ah, they do. I they didn't do. even know that. I Plus just, two line of sight. I was like, man, yeah. that that infantry unit has a normal line of sight. So that's kind of nice because his scout wasn't even there. He yeah. saw the range nice and early. Sometimes if you go too far, you can't escape on this map. So that vision was very nice. Also, nice job there to you know show the other bonuses. Well, I mean, we could uh, we could pull that up anytime. We just need a smooth transition. Thank you for setting me up. I definitely knew that they had such <laughs> an obscure <coughs> civilization bonus. It's only been a few months, but I'm definitely on top uh -huh, of that. Here uh -huh. we go. The scouts are now turning around, working on that camel scout, but Doubt is keeping his archers right next to the spearmen, and Hera's spearmen and scouts are kind of split here. Yeah. Now, this is where Hera, it looks like he's trying to kill things. He's buying time for those skirms right now. He's looking for tiny engagements, waiting to see if Doubt is going to actually engage against him. And wow, oh, we actually found oh, it. Oh, oh, don't do him oh. like this. Oh, don't. Oh, it's going to. Oh! He didn't even. No. I mean, his keyboard is 20 years old. It that still says Microsoft on it. <laughs> you were telling it me the story about It still says Microsoft on it. I touched the key. <laughs> I touched the key in there because I wanted to see how clackety clack it was. And it's like, I, had to, I had to wash my hands, <laughs> dude. It was not great. Was it, was it Andy who said, like, you have to scrape off the keyboard to see what key it is? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Andy said. Anyways. No one can use it but don't. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, listen, at this point, those skirmishers are out, and this is what Hera wanted, and... His eco is pretty smooth behind it, and skirmishers, you know, they do push back archers and spears. So Doubt is left out here in no man's land, and then uh, he's trying to go for scouts and whatnot, but it, normally you want to have archers alive still. You want to have, like, three, four archers in combination with your scouts. This has been a beautiful opening from Hera. Yeah, yeah, really, really solid, and now he's got the freedom to run around, and when things start to, <laughs> when things start to go wrong, we know what building we're uh -huh. going to see. The market is going up from doubt. Honestly, I'm surprised he's not building that with more, but I, 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 he's going to try and do something. He's going to try and sell his stone, maybe buy some food, get some extra units on the field, buy himself some time, and hope that Hera won't be confident enough to push into his eco. Unfortunately for him, uh, Hera's got quite the unit advantage. Yeah, that and Hera's got really good eco. Yep. And it's like, what's Doubt gonna make to push this back? He's making scouts with no additional support, and Hera already has more scouts than him, yep. right? So um, we'll see. I, I think that market is something that is correct from Doubt. I know that's part of like something we meme on with him a little bit, but at the end of the day, as we see this engagement, uh, which is actually not too bad for Doubt so far. No, it's far. pretty good, honestly. Hera had some weak scouts, and yeah. Doubt is going to kill all of them. Yeah, I'm surprised. Really nice. I'm surprised Hera committed to that uh, to that engagement there. I mean, another skirmisher goes down, another scout goes down. That Doubt was really good. himself a ton of time. Yeah, it was really good. Stable timing works out for him. 
And now he's going to start to buy some res, whether it be for upgrades or more units. The goal is a faster Castle Age, and you see this a lot. But it's great recognition from Doubt to know this hasn't gone according to plan. I need a, an extra bit of oomph here. I need an extra push. Yeah, you need to try something drastic, because Correct. the way the game is going currently, you're not going to win. You're not going to win in a meta sense by just producing units. Hera's always going to be faster to those timings than you are. And you need some help, and the help comes in the form of the market. I, he made a Camel Scout, Ooh. which is actually next levered, as we say, Dave. Like, the Camel Scout takes a, a lot longer to produce in Feudal than a Camel does in Castle, but that is a bonus that you have, the ability to produce that, and they do well against Scouts. And if you keep it alive to Castle Age, it instantly becomes a, a yeah. Camel Rider. And, and that's Ooh. nice, because the issue for Doubt right now is unit numbers. But that unit right there, that might as well count as like two or three scouts. So we'll see. I think Hera should have some recognition and bring forward some spearmen. I'm very surprised he's not doing that right now because he shouldn't be scared of archers. But still Hera on the offensive looking to push Doubt. Doubt wants to click up to Castle Age here. This is not a terrible situation for Hera. Idling the entire wood line off and on Agreed. and keeping pressure on this side while your eco is safe is perfectly fine for him. Agreed. Yep. And he's not even that far behind a Castle Age. Look at his eco. Yep. And, if, I mean, if he gets a couple villager kills off this, obviously he extends his lead. But he can't wall behind, remember that. So if Doubt has a nice opening with Castle Age, maybe some Camels or Shravamshas, Doubt could maybe turn around with some counter damage. Nice bit of patience from both players here, both getting a feel for if the other is going to engage with the Villagers or the Scouts. But at the end of the day, Doubt needs more than the army we're seeing here. <laughs> these, <laughs> villagers, the corners, these Villagers <laughs> are probably pissed right now, dude. What kind of orders are we getting here? What are we doing? It's, it's a weird type of micro to compliment. But this is sick from Hera. It this is, is really, This really is really hard. And also, the skirmishers have whittled down that camel pretty nicely. I think Doubt just needs to engage. But I guess if he does, Hera's going to run. God, this is disgusting from Hera. Oh, my God. I'm, an, I'm actually annoyed <laughs> just Poor watching Doubt. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, live it, like, if we're living vicariously through Doubt, I'm, I'm <laughs> really irritated. <currently. laughs> I mean, but it, it's, so, it's so good from both. And finally, Doubt engages as he has a couple more Camel Scouts. Any other Civ, though, Doubt's dead here, or he has to change his strategy because the Camel Scouts wouldn't be an option And here. a great engagement from Hera there. He, he takes off some HP off that Camel Scout. He's going to kill another Camel Scout. He probably realizes that I think he's seen the market, so he probably knows that Doubt has, you know, YOLO'd his way up to Castle Age, and he takes those out before they be ke become Camel Riders. So really, yep. really solid approach. Still going to be two, though, and still he hasn't killed a single Vil from Doubt this game. Like, not one. Mm -hmm. And Doubt can run. You can't wall the, the choke point on Rocky Forest. Yep. So Doubt can actually just, just run across the map. And I love this choice. He's going Shravamsha because it's a nightmare to clear up, right? It's it's one of the fastest units in Castle Age, if not the fastest. And now, uh, uh, Hera's got to maybe try and get some walls down on his gold or something. Potential counter to Camel Shravamsha is uh, Fortified Churches with Warrior Priests. That, and you, in, Armenians get infantry upgrades an age earlier. Yep. So you can actually Ooh, click Pikeman so now. Uh, can Potentially, you click Pikeman in Feudal? I forget. But yeah, you can. You can yeah. pick, click Pikeman in Yeah, so you could have Halb and Castle Age. So like Spears, but Monks. so expensive. Spears and Monks would be great here. Yep. I think Hera's going to focus on the crossbows. Right now, he's going to try and use his Spearman just to defend himself a little bit in Feudal Age. And maybe, maybe some Fortified Churches or maybe a TC near that gold if he has the wood for it. Yeah. But uh, right now, he doesn't have that much wood, actually. He's Doubt's going to force a fight. Make he's going to force a fight because he knows if these units get upgraded, it's a big, big problem for him. Doubt goes in against the Spears. He goes in against Villagers, Archers, and some Skirmishers. There's still a lot of Shravamshas. Oh, man. Oh, those Camels didn't get any Vils. Those Camels didn't get any Vils, Tristan. Those Camels didn't get any Vils. And Doubt finds very little value with that army. Hera still has the Archer numbers. Hera is now going for a couple Knights of his own. He's got Crossbow. He's got Fletching on the way. And he's kind of banking up his wood so he can Doubt, get those churches. Doubt is really tunnel vision on this area right now because he wants damage. Mm -hmm. If he did a little loop-de-loop -loop to the right, he has farmers to hit, but he doesn't know that, and he feels behind right now. But actually, you look at res collected, it looks bad, but momentum of the game, Hera doesn't have a lot. He's upgraded to crossbow with five. He's got three spearmen with no yep. pikemen. He's got two knights without upgrades. This is th There's plenty of potential for Doubt to kill villagers. And now it's Doubt's turn to be annoying, because this is one of the fastest units in the game. Yep, there you go. And he's just going to rip through the villagers. The knights are going to struggle to catch up. 
And Hera will just lose a couple villagers here, a couple villagers there, and all the attention at the moment is on Hera's base, so Doubt has some time to focus on his eco. However, Hera doesn't want this to happen, and Hera's pushing across with crossbows, but he's losing more villagers behind. Dude, if Hera had pikes, which he could so easily do with his sieve, could have done it in feudal, and this army moving across would not die to Shravamsha's. Doubt has potential to kill this, because those are just four spearmen, and it, it, he might be thinking Pikeman's coming in, so it might even think, be thinking about rushing a fight. Eight crossbows against Shravamsha's will not help at all. Doubt will take the fight. This should be a good fight for Doubt. Yeah, I think I think it will be. I mean, he's got more reinforcements coming from the stables, too, and once he clears the spears, Hera just needs to leave. Yeah. Like, he can't engage against that, and he's, he's back in a way. Doubt doesn't feel super confident with the weak Shravamsha to go after those crossbows immediately, and now the knights are on the field there from Hera, so he should be fine. But Doubt has a villager lead. Look at the splits from Doubt. Little whoop, whoop, I can do it too, you know? Yep. I, Doubt's going to try and engage to kill the crossbow numbers. I actually... <laughs> I, I would have liked to have seen Doubt maybe try and get a, just run around them and see what Hera does. Or just even run around the edge of the map. They're so fast. Like, yeah, send, like, like, send like three or four around the edge of the yeah. map, maybe. R remember, like, this thinking, though, is all a product of the fact that we can see everything, right? Yep. And whereas, like, Doubt, like, he's very much in the dark. There he's trying to micro there. So he did run around. Okay. Yeah, runs around with those. That's beautiful unit control and micro. And still pushing it right through the gut, waiting for engagements. And Doubt, that it should be a pretty decent fight for him there. And we'll see what happens. I mean, he's trying to get the Shravamshas in towards the crossbows and, and let the camels do the rest. The camels. Yeah, and Doubt almost blocking. He's trying to get that knight. Got some good hits on it. He's into the crossbows now, but a good escape from Hera. However, the knights from Hera have gone down. The fortified church is behind, adding a little bit of extra damage, but the Shravamshas are dodging it. And Doubt is still holding yep. Hera into his base. I wonder if this has arrived to a point where Doubt doesn't think he's that far behind anymore. Can he add a second TC? Can he see a third? I mean, this is even right now. There's the second TC. Hera's adding one as well. And Hera's, Hera's going to do going the same. For a third. Yep. But, you know, I, I think this is such a big thing. It's like Hera's army commands no respect of Doubt's army. So Doubt should do exactly this. He should just be using the mobility now. And another villager will go down. Uh, there's another one right next to it. Doubt can continue this for quite a while. Yeah, and, and unless Hera locks this down. It's going to be an issue, right? Of course, he's got that other TC. He's still got the crossbows here. Res no. Collected is still ahead for Hera currently. I don't like this engagement for Doubt. But yeah, this is That's this he, is one where you're just tossing. You away. don't have armor. You're forcing an engagement against like six crossbows. You're going to lose camels. And you're losing your position is yeah. the most important thing. Yeah. But that, that could be like maybe he, he says, well, mm -hmm. uh, that that's just me pushing Hera a bit further back. And Doubt goes for TC number three as well. What a, what a great series, Dave. Like, really, really I, I, there were some so questions, like, some people were chatting, like, you know, it's Hera. He had a great performance against ACCM. You look at the Liquipedia, typically Hera's got the better of Doubt. But I, I can't help but remember just overhearing Doubt say it went exactly as I expected, which is just such a cool, freaking cool thing to quote, you know. And he knew what Hera would be bringing his way today, and here he is. Another villager sniped. And another villager gets sniped. Oh, they're yeah. such an annoying unit. Yep. It's, it's just, it, I just want this unit gone from the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, too late, dude. Too late. Yeah. You got to give up. Too far. You got to give up. Far. Yep. But Hera listen, listen, I, you know, in the series against, with, it was Hera ACCM, I was a, a bit critical at times of Hera. He's in winning positions. He was very late to tech switches, and he was very late to upgrades. And I'm seeing a similar issue here for Hera, where it's just very, he's got that eco, but I don't know what he's committing towards yet. Mm hmm. And, you know, he had that opportunity to maybe get Pikeman. He knew it would be stable units. It's just not quite happening. So now we have a closer game, and Doubt has really made him pay for, for kind of sitting back a little bit too much. Yep. Herod now has some Warrior Priest, so maybe there's an opportunity to grab a couple additional relics. <laughs> Doubt once again, <laughs> once again showing off his micro here, and he's having he's having a great time with it. You see him, you see him out the I back just kind of running around, and he ends up getting the Warrior Priest. He's in on the farms. He's focusing on his eco. Doubt is a pretty smooth operator currently. Yeah, he's, that's beautiful. He's moving at a good pace. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, everyone likes to look at the end game statistics and say Doubt's a bit slower, but he is insanely fast and he has very effective actions right mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you, you 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 spam click some hot keys you use the scroll wheel for some things it spikes up I doubt is still one of the fastest players in the world comparatively speaking and right now he finds himself with a position to continue to raid hair to death still wondering 
where where's like the pikeman upgrade where Hera's got ballistics for like seven crossbows i'm not sure if crossbow is the unit you actually want but also on the flip side doubt he is kind of struggling economically with upgrades he doesn't have any armor on his trevumptions either yeah so i think doubt needs to t just take a deep breath and look at his eco upgrades here for a second well i mean he's kind of taking a deep breath and he's getting his eco sorted 31 on food Yep. For Doubt, 38 on food for Hera. So very similar there. Wheelbarrow is already in for Doubt. Wheelbarrow there is coming is. in for Hera. There's the Pikeman upgrade. And it's right around the time he has enough stone for a castle, right? So maybe Hera is thinking about locking down that center era. Doubt also with 500 stone in the bank. Yep, and you want to have that castle in the middle. A, a defensive castle is awkward to place, mm -hmm. but also it doesn't protect anything long term. There's a lot of stone and gold there. This particular area is so brutal. I know. Just leave it. Just leave it. Listen, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of job listings, right? They're like, man, they, they're really hiring quite a few people. This must be a great company. No, no. There's a reason they're hiring. Okay, uh, go for another job. Please. Yeah, that's like that's like a temp job offer, and then they give you a Bitly link. <laughs> <laughs> like via text, right? Hey, exciting job opportunity has opened up on these farms. Yeah, and I wonder if Herod, does he feel like he can move into the middle now to drop his castle? Because he, he's, he's just had to draw fall back. He doesn't well, have I mean, a lot of vision. It's a 5th TC. And I, I, this, is a common, uh, th this is a common trend with Herod where you can tell if he's under stress by how many TCs he's adding behind. Because a lot of times he feels like he can out-boom yeah, yeah, his yeah. opponents and then just out-micro, out-macro, out-skill them. I wonder, does Doubt, oh man, if Doubt knew about that TC. He would go there 100%. Oh man, it's interesting. Like, like Doubt was, has been going to the right side where the farms are so frequently that he just never thought that he could maybe cut through there. It's almost like an entirely different world than what Doubt could envision because Hera chopped through. If Doubt gets, if he sees this at all, he may actually change his castle spot, but he's not going to see it. I think it's it. too late now. He it's takes 30. this fight because yeah. he knows Pikeman is a dangerous thing for him, and he needs to get this castle up. Everyone loves to meme on Doubt and how he struggles with castles. That one's not even that far forward. That's relatively <laughs> safe. He just lost his army there, but he's doing a good he's job okay. with the Shavamsha to yeah. hold him in, and that castle is already probably like 40, 50% complete, so he should be fine. Also notices the castle, the barracks from Hera. My question is like, uh, Chakram throwers. Uh, what do Armenians do against them? Like composite bowmen feel like they could be okay, but I think they're limited range on composite bowmen. I think Arbs is fine, right? Arbs is okay. Yeah, I think Arbs is fine. Chakram thrower sh or uh, Shravamsha? Yeah, the, the issue with the Chakrams, I feel, is like I never get excited about them until you get 20. Yeah, you and need that's, a mass. You and need it's a mass even sure. more so than any other unique unit, yeah. right? And, and so that's the issue here for Doubt. That is more of a Treb castle more than anything. Hera's already up to imp. Like this actually works out incredible for Hera, because he's still he's got a sizable crossbow mass. He was planning ahead with ballistics. The chakrams get picked off easily, and now he can win the treb war. And this is it's just amazing what Hera's able back to do. On the farms again. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like do not kill those farms. That is my major source of income Ooh. in terms of villager kills. Hera going for another castle back there. That's actually a small win for Doubt. The fact that Hera is so scared of those so raids he won't have double castle that he drops a castle war. in the yeah. back. Yeah, Hera's going to have just one castle in the middle. Really, really solid. Resources collected still very close for this stage of the game. Yeah. Villager count. Hera's pulled ahead a little bit with that fifth TC, but really, really solid economies from both. Both with 40 on food, both with 24 on gold. Like, this is super similar. Unique techniques that come in for doubt. It's uh, a bit more expensive these days, but if you're making any more units that cost food, unique tech before any other military units, it gives you a 25% discount on your uh, military units. That is the, the Shatrias upgrade there. So Frontier Guards probably won't see it. Uh, it's just Ravamsha's Trebs, maybe some Bombard Cannons, as the Grajaras have that. But yeah, there it is right now. Great call from Doubt. It's so easy. You're thinking, push, you know, make lots of army, flood the map with army. And, and that tech's relatively expensive. Mm -hmm. So to have the recognition that you can wait here to get that really helps your long term. It's interesting you went for another Mangonel there. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Like, what, what was he expecting with that? Or is he just trying to hold this position? Well, I mean, he's only seen crossbows. Yeah. So he might think, like, Hera's crossbows might be around. I think Doubt's going to be kicking himself. I like that Hera's getting up. held before he gets in. Yeah, that's really beautiful. smart. Yep. That's really, really good. He doesn't wait for help. He remembers that he can get it with Armenians, and he's not going to have that timing issue where he's trying to protect his trebs with just pikemen. Yeah, and and now Doubt is like, oh, no, what have I done? And, and Hera's Hera, building. Hera drops to, a mule cart to block it. He's trapping him in with mule carts.
And this is sick from Hera. This is what we said before the game. You could block with mule carts. I mean, honestly, the units probably die even if they run around, but still. But now he's got two mule carts. He's so. got two mule carts now, yeah. which is nice. The villagers were lonely. Super efficient. Trap will be coming out from Hera. Remember, out of one oh, castle. Oh, he just double clicked all his mule carts away. Oh, don't look. <laughs> Actually, I really. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Wait, you, uh, that's interesting because most players have double-click <laughs> villagers turned off. Yeah. Is there no double-click mule cart off? I don't think we're that deep <laughs> in the DLC yet, okay. honestly. Okay. That's, I don't think we're that deep. That's That would suck, dude. <laughs> uh, that would suck. And you know Hera's like, oh. Uh. <laughs> It would be funny if after the game we look at his APM spike and capture age and him fixing the mule carts was, yeah. was faster than anything else. All right, so two castles versus one. And the Shravamshas forced that other castle back there, so he had to defend, and you mentioned it before. He's getting masonry now, but he has to fight up against two castle trep production. Yeah. And uh, Doubt is not making trebs. No, he... Oh, you're right. He was yeah. making trebs. He's not making more. Oh, he didn't have the wood. He didn't yeah. have the wood. And maybe could buy a little bit more. I mean, listen, Doubt needs to win this Treb War because if his castles fall, he gets wrecked by this army. Mm -hmm. This army is not strong Where enough. are these Arbalists going? They right want into the, the castle fire. Right into the Chakrams. He wants the Treb. But that's a lot of damage on those Arbalists. Yeah, Hera probably feels like I can do it oh anyways. It's okay, I can do this. But Hera no! takes a really bad engagement and Halps don't do much against Trebs. And, and it's Hera being repaired. throwing the game. It's being repaired. He keeps it alive. The Arbalists, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. And, and again, if Doubt's Castle stand, Hera's army will not be able to push. And now the Halps are gone as well. And Hera might be throwing the game. All of the Arbalists are going to be dead. The Shravamshas can eat the trebuchets. It's so many villagers repairing, but Doubt, he's got three trebs attacking that castle. What is happening? Wow, that's crazy. Hera's gonna lose his castle. Will Doubt lose his castle? That's the big question now. It's gotta be really close. Incredibly close, actually. He can survive one more shot, Dave. Huh? He can survive another shot. That That is a weak trebuchet. Will Hera's treb die? Get it! He kills it, it but there's one one rock coming in no, oh no. my god he survives he survives wow okay. unbelievable okay doubt needs skirms right now mm -hmm. he's going to continue to make shravamshas but that's a lot of halbs you now have time if you're doubt because those two castles stand you have to avoid the halbs and you have to use this moment to tech switch into skirms that's going to take time though dave i think you could go skirms i think you could also think about chakrams if you have uh, Shravansha Chakra, yeah, actually, I maybe. think it would really be solid. Maybe. If you keep your castles alive and if you're not producing trebs with them. I mean, at the very least, upgrades that would affect Skirms, yep, like and Fletching, he's could right be now. really good. They produce pretty quick. They deal with the Hounds, and then your, your Shravamsas are tanking all the fire from the Arbalist. This is like years of people memeing on Doubt's castles coming back to benefit Doubt. Can we get a double click on those castles? Yep. Is that, thir that is it right there. Look at the total damage dealt. Yep. Hera has had this incredible eco, but he it, cannot get anywhere near those trebs right now. Yep. Oh my goodness. How have we found ourselves in this situation? And how can Hera really come back and now Doubt's taking full advantage of the army just not being there? Yep. Right? He's got the stable in the north. He might even make a stable in the south as well. And he might be feeding in Travamshas to just kill units. And Hera's, he, he has no mobility. Yep. He can't deal with that. Yep, and and he now Doubt can't move very far from those castles. Doubt still doesn't have fletching, still doesn't have ballistics, still doesn't even have final imp armor. Like these are castle age Shravamshas, but they find a really good engagement there on the Arbalest as Harrow's completely again, out of position. Again, and Hera can't deal with the trebs because they're still within range of the castles. They got some chakrams behind. Only three chakrams though. Yep. Harrow's is still at the limit with the resources, especially with food. Like, he's really, really spending on those. I, I really think Doubt's got the right idea with the raids, man. Split them up and and just keep your – just don't throw your trebs away. A sneaky castle from Hera yep. in the, like, bottom of the middle area is actually huge. Yep. Um, a bit below those just trebs right now. Just to continue to have gold access yeah. down there. I, I – you know, I, I still think Hera's okay. I don't know if I like Chakram. And, and Shravamshas, I think Skirms are more reliable. And Doubt might be losing a little bit of his momentum, right? He's been feeding units yep. a little bit. He hasn't managed to mass anything other than Shravamsha. And the more Shravamsha he loses, the yep. more he has to replace with. And that's where all of his food is going right now. He's yep. trying to deal with Trebs, with Trebs of his own. He's going in with the Shravamsha now. But Hera still keeping up a solid production behind Yeah, because like if those castles weren't there, the game's over already. We're already talking about game number three. Yep. It has solely been Doubt's Castles that has protected him here, and Hera happy to toss away more units because he can make more, because the Shravamshas are still Castle Age. He, there's not a strong enough army for Doubt. 
as he patrols into a farm. That's not Doubt's fault, and, and there he goes. Get, he's gotten plenty of kills on the sides, though. Is there still a, uh, a, a Shravamsh on that left corner? Very left corner. Every time we've seen that... How many kills? He's chilling. Ten kills! Ten kills! So that guy will come back for more Extremely soon. Extremely chill over there. <laughs> he's waiting for Hera to go up to those berries. <laughs> Oh man, it, it brings me pain, Dave. It brings me pain. Yep. The Chakram's going down, and Hera has been massing trebuchets from that castle that we could see on the minimap there. Uh, Hera, when he takes that castle out, he's going to dominate Doubt. Yeah, and he's got such a good setup below that. And th this is what we were talking about. Like, Hera's just out booming, out macroing. Yep and then just taking fights in the appropriate position and keeping the production up. And he's managed to come back from that position that I, I felt was pretty advantageous for Doubt when Absolutely he took out was. the castle. Absolutely was. You know, sometimes when you get a lead, you think, kill him now. And there are certain situations against the best of the best where you have How? to go for more of the long term. How does this man have 63 farmers, Shatrias, and no food? <laughs> what is going on? Where is the food? Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, doesn't have handcart, which is really hurts with 64 on food. And he's committed to uh, infantry out of a castle that he's not going to have anymore. And Doubt can't. It's too. It might be too late now for skirmishers. Doubt. May look at this position soon and feel like it's impossible to come back from. Oh my goodness. The Halves are pushing back the Trebs. There's no castles to produce Shavamshas. He's going to have to tech switch into something else. The Trebs are moving forward and they're not protected by the Halves. So that might be a nice little um, find there from Doubt. But he's only able to get one and he loses two Trebs of his own. And Hera, did you see that little maneuver? So the Trebs can one shot a packed up trebuchet. They can absolutely one-shot them. Harris saw that Doubt was firing with those trebs, so he unpacked them for a brief moment so that none of them would get killed by stray shots. No, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. We can go <laughs> back and we can I look don't think, at it. I think he's trying to move him, dude. He's trying to move him. Absolutely did. He's trying I'm to just move him. willing em. to bet everything. It was just, it, listen, it was just a coincidence. But we can ask Hera about it too. I'm willing to bet everything. If he if he actually packed and unpacked Trebs, yeah, I know. He's intentionally, a gamer. that I, would be insane. No, he is insane. Replay man's pissed at us. He's like, really, we're gonna. He's look like, at we're Trebs. gonna watch Trebs unpack and but, pack. But but replay man, uh, doubt is very 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 dead. So we could settle this argument, perhaps. The GG's called. What a great what game What a crazy from comeback from Hera. What a, what what a, a crazy uh, pressure from Doubt yep. the entire time he holds the map controller. And look at him, he's like, ah. Oh, yeah. God, Honestly, though, I had that. That game was crazy. It felt like Hera was ahead the entire time, yep. but Doubt was doing an incredible job finding opportunities. Yep. A beautiful job. Um, I do wonder, though, how this game goes if after Doubt gets that gift, that belated Christmas gift that Hera gave him by diving underneath the castles. If he says, all right, I have time. The Shravamshas never take main engagements. They raid the sides, and I just he dropped four ranges. Four he ranges. to mass something. E whether some range you like even just, even just chakrams. Even chakrams or the skirmishers like you were talking about or something else. Just mass something other than Shravamshas. Yeah. Doubt. I think I think they are. Um, opening a I think Doubt is warm. He's sticking his head out the window. Oh, he. Is he got a puke? No, he's just warming up, and he's he is also up. wiping his eyes. Okay, cool. Or cooling, cooling down. Oh, he's Sorry. also flexing for us. Nice. Oh. Wonderful. I guess uh, if we can't get a replay on the trips, that would Hera be sick. Absolutely unpack those. I've never Jeez. seen someone do that for that reason. Yeah, there's no other reason. There's that, no other reason. You have you done ever it. clicked a treb anywhere in your life? Yes. They're they're horribly unresponsive. They're clunky as no, crap. No, 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 no. I'm it, saying he hit the hot key for unpack so that his trebs wouldn't die to Doubt's trebs firing at his trebs. So there's no chance They were on the move. They were rolling to the <laughs> destination, okay? Picture. They were rolling <laughs> to a certain spot, and then he unpacked them while the rock was in midair. I'm, I'm uh, motioning all this. Up. While the rock was in midair, he unpacked okay, them. Okay, uh, Dave, l question for you. Let's say you have an army and you have trebs, and you're, you're advancing towards the enemy. Yeah. And you, your trebs, you go to click them into space, but you click, at, I don't know, an enemy unit. What happens to those traps? I mean, they, they, they unpack. unpack. Okay, and then you realize when that happens, and you're like, look, oh, look, look. Okay, he's going to. Gonna... He clicked the Siege Workshop. He dude. didn't click the Siege Workshop. He Play just clicked the Siege. No, Run he it. clicked the Siege Workshop. He clicked it. 100%. Again. Yeah, again, please. Thank you. Sorry, guys. We're just fighting. But mom and dad, mom and dad will be. F I mean, he might have clicked good. it to unpack. He might have clicked it to unpack. Trebs, 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 and uh, 
Siege Workshop. Yeah, but then he immediately he immediately clicks them again. Look, because stop. he didn't want to take out the Siege Workshop anymore. Because maybe he forgot his unpack hockey. <laughs> We need to ask these questions. <laughs> That's why we're here. We're <laughs> asking the important <laughs> questions here. Okay, it's listen. It doesn't he matter. I, I agree. He did click the siege workshop. Uh, uh, when, yeah. The the reason behind you're the changing your of the story. Siege workshop, you're changing your I'm story. Not, it was definitely intentional. <laughs> There's no other way. First, it's the hotkey. Then he forgets the hotkey. We're asking him 100. percent Even <laughs> if he doesn't win the set, I'm asking 100. <laughs> percent He's laughing he just because he knows us? he's a gamer. <laughs> listen. I think it's important that everyone's having a good time. Yeah. I think that's the big thing here. So a lot of viewers just smile. Someone called me an ass for this. Are we not having fun here? I'm having fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have a lot more fun when Hera tells me that he just clicked the Listen, building. Listen, if we got mad at each other every time we disagreed, holy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good. There's no hard feelings here, people. We're having fun. And yeah, I do. It's wild with the amount of people we have watching, but I do occasionally look at the comments. So... Now, more people are calling me an ass. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Internet 101, never acknowledge it. It's like, the, oh, okay. Well, anyways, guys, they're, they're going to prep for game number three. Yep. Um, they may have shifted this, the five-minute break they're able to take to now. We've seen that um, be between game two or game three. It's all good. Yep. Um, Copenhagen, fortified clearing remaining for doubt. Listen, as far as this series goes from doubt's perspective, you do not come in here planning for it to be realistic to get a 3-0 mm -hmm. against Hera. You just don't. You're happy with giving up Hera's home maps. That first win was important because that's neutral. And then you have Copenhagen fortified clearing as a backup to to hopefully be your two victories to make it a 3-1 mm -hmm. or 3-2 win. I've, so, I, I'm having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> that was a crazy series, dude. Yeah, that, I mean, it's been a great series. Yeah. And, and there was... You some, I always have a little bit of worry, right? Like, it's almost midnight here. Players have been around for a long time. Um, and you just worry, like, it, it will be a dud, the last the last series. But it's yesterday, not. yesterday, yeah. it was a 3-2 banger from Viper and Hart. That was the best series. And today's been harder to match in terms of a best series, but this is looking pretty I good mean, so far. I mean, we had the ACCM Yo series, which was incredible. I think the Viper Tato series probably takes the cake yeah. in terms of quality. But, I mean... The Andy Hart series was really so That was too. really fun. Yeah. yeah, that was really fun. I've enjoyed it. I mean, of course, you know, hard-pressed to find an Age of Empires game I, I don't like, but the level's been insane today. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope people have enjoyed the, the effort put in from the players. Uh, probably a good time to shout out to production, who's memeing away and doing the replays so Dave and I can fight. Well played. We got vodka. Looking who's at been the observing. clock, like, why are these games so long? Yeah. <laughs> Vodka's been observing all day. Yep. Um, seriously, they, they've done a great job. I and can't believe uh, Vodka observes for like 12 hours. If I do that, you like my mouse starts to just go random places. <laughs> you know how it is. When is that, does that also happen when you're controlling trips? Because that would ex Hey, man, there, there's our production team there hiding in the in oh, corner. Oh, yeah, they really – great job on the view here, yeah. guys. Great job. You're really making yourself clearly, look great over clearly there, Clearly, you guys were an afterthought here, but – no, nah, well played, well played. And I think these guys are going to be in game number three here shortly. Mm -hmm. um, I, I bet you one of them was like, don't show the camp, don't show the camp. I look like crap, we've been here all day. And he's like, Bonk. that's what would happen. If I were over there, I would not want to be seen. And here we are. And ooh, okay, well, what is, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, is our little, I, this is our little progression. I mean, talk about quality work here. Yeah, right? exactly. 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 This is beautiful. I, mean, I always take the middle ground. 2024, and that is someone's job. What a beautiful world we're living in, right? Mm -hmm. Jeez, man. They're they're laughing. Why? I don't know why they're laughing. Um, anyways, uh, Italians, Mayans. Ooh, I'm getting some throwback vibes here from Doubt picking Mayans on a regicide start. Yep. The big thing, though, Dave, I think I think water civilizations are so sick. The, the Malay, the Italians, the Portuguese, those three are just elite, elite, and Hera looks so good with Italians yesterday. I can't remember who it was. I saw someone try and go plumed archers on this map, and I cannot Sato. remember who it was. Yeah, it Sato probably against, was Sato. Sato against Andy. It did not work. It did not. They're not what they used to be. Yeah, it's true. Yep. It's true. I mean, it, it was against other another civilization as well. But I'm just curious on the water aspect because I feel – so there was a moment yesterday where I stood there as players were building up, mm -hmm. and we had like Hera around, Leary, Viper, Tato. I look at a game that's being played, and I say, I think every game on Copenhagen will be two docks on the long water side into Adept. 
Yep. That's what I said. And I was expecting someone to be like, yeah, maybe. And it was way too silent. <laughs> like every, they no know. one, yeah, no one, they, they were amongst <laughs> others and no one wanted to let the others know yep. that they had also come to that conclusion. That's just your own little headcanon though. Let's see if, let's see if doubt <laughs> adds a second dot. <laughs> yep, yep, yeah, yep, yep, there yep, he yep, is. Yep. Okay. All right. I'll give you this one. Well, you know, the thing is, it's like the other water area. It's further away. Mm -hmm. You have to leave your stone walls. And you're super vulnerable. Correct. And and the big benefit of that later on is the relics, but you can't get relics now. Yep. Uh, and I also feel like if you were to fast castle, which is common on a map without water, then what will happen is you're going to lose your fish, and the opponent can get up to like six, eight, ten fishing ships, and then they just have better eco than you anyways. So this is just a safe play. But I did have a player say he didn't want to do that against Hera because of Hera's micro. Yep. So I'm curious to see like how the micro goes. If you were to ask players who is the better micro with you know Doubt or Hera, I think most people are going to lean towards Hera. Imagine being so good that you completely negate a strategy by just living in your opponent's head rent-free. Yeah. Imagine I, a situation. That's yeah, crazy. I mean, it is interesting. But you know, to that point, Doubt doesn't think like that. Doubt thinks this is the best strategy. I have to do this. Yep. And then game one... Doubt came out swinging, right? Like super aggressive strategy. If you guys missed that and just got here, it, it was a pretty ridiculous one. So, um, you know, there's always going to be that leftover boar. Players will save that till later. You also start with farms on this map. Ooh, watch out for the castle. And Doubt's like, come here, hit me. <laughs> it's like, I haven't fallen for that since 2018. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, also there are kings on this map. Uh, for the uninitiated, if you lose the king, you are defeated. But... Unlikely we see a king snipe. However, of all the sieves to snipe kings in competitive 1v1s, I believe Mayans is the highest. I can think of three separate times over oh, the really? last 10 years. <laughs> a great average. <laughs> so we got we got the galley battle. And uh, Italians, well, they, they have uh, cheaper dock techs and they have, as we can see right here, cheaper fishing ships too. And they're cheaper to the next age. But they have nothing that directly... Um, Relates to the galleys in the feudal age. So yep, yep. as long as doubt keeps up the production, should be fine. Yep, I agree. You do have the cheaper fishing ships, which is kind of nice. Um, I think what really flows together well with this sieve, though, as man, doubt missed an opportunity for a true low elo mining camp if he shifted that a bit. But um, it's it's the cheaper to go up to each age. Yep. So the he's already are so important. Here. He's already benefited from that. Yeah. He'll benefit from it again to castle and then to imp. It's just like those. Those three instances are super helpful here. Oh, sorry, stats guy. I, bl I blocked you. I <laughs> stats blocked guy. You. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was looking at the, str at the stream deck. I'm sorry. Stats guy couldn't take oh, a loss there. God, stats I... guy, he wanted to make sure people saw that. That's good. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, That's, I'm sorry. Okay. So how many units are, are dead? Oh, has Doubt made a spearman there to kill the, the deer, which is a nice touch. How many units will die in Feudal Age? How many units will die in feudal age? Yes. Total, like ships and everything. Okay, yep. land to units. I'm going to say, how many galleys does Doubt have? Uh, Doubt has <laughs> six, eight. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, you lost one. That was that was a little rude there, Dave. What you're implying, but Hera's been advancing here, and I mean, it, the reason I asked that is because I felt it was very likely we have a lot of back and forth here. Uh, even though Hera's advancing. Like, you're, you're now closer to Doubt's production if you're Hera, so Doubt's about to have more ships. Yep. So Hera loses one, uh, Doubt nice. micring well. And Good so job. You said eight. I'm going to say, let's make it interesting. I'm going to go 11. It's one to one right now. Yeah, I'm going to go 11. Yep. If you stack those up beside each other, you're already there. Oh, God, Hera's resources. Wait, do both have to be in castle? What are the rules? First person to castle age. Oh, well, of course, because your number's lower than mine. I said 11. I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> Well, it really benefits your number. Okay, can I redo my number then? Yeah, yeah I was go ahead. considering first person to castle Okay, well, then I'll redo my number. Go ahead. Nine. <laughs> you went up? I'm going to go with four. Okay. Actually, that's really bad. Okay, I'm sticking <laughs> okay, with it. I'm sticking with in. it. Lock it it's, in, it's dude. It's locked in. Lock it in. Right now, we're at two. Also, if you guys, if you are not putting your number in a comment anywhere. You have no right to laugh at us. Yes, exactly. If we get it wrong, okay? Exactly. We need Put it transparency. On the Put we it need on the accountability. Record. And Hera is about to click up to the castle age. Hera has now clicked up. Doubt is quite close there, and both players are just kind of dancing with the galleys. And we've got two minutes and 26 seconds until uh, it's time to make the count. Hera, We're currently still at two. I know that 
um, Italian There's set the scout cheaper fight. age up. No, that that's that's big deal. That's gonna be a kill for Hera. That's three. Oh, okay. Oof, I'm All right, sweating. Doubt loses his eagle. He uses the market. I'm and sweating. And he's about to go up now. I'm sweating. Doubt still has ten galleys though. And Hera's got nine. Hera's pushing with less galleys. Hera, he's back so up. Confident. Back up. Back up. So back confident up. here. He's got the weak one in front too. Okay. Oh, the split. Oh, the split. The split. Oh, no sees, hits. This is good. That weak galley oh God, Doubt. the villagers. What are you doing there, villagers? Get out. I mean, four is looking pretty good right now. <laughs> It's looking better than nine. <laughs> Down, move your face. The fish. No. That's four. No more. Can't take another. No more. No, sir. Hera, be be a coward. Oh. For once in your life, be a coward. Oh. Oh yes, he's backing away. He he has more sense. Doubt smells weakness. Oh no. Five. Price uh. is right rules. But ugh, no, you can't. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Hera's gonna move over here now, folks. We. Despite some of the laughter in mini games, we're, we are still taking this very seriously. This is going to go late, and that area where the relics are is very important. It is very important. Unfortunately, oh! there's a spearman there, so bye bye, villager from and no Hera. No loom. No loom. No loom from Hera, so Hera needs to quick wall this villager in, and of course he does. It's just a spearman there from Doubt. However, the wolf helping Doubt out a little bit as Hera went out for that dock. He's still going to get the dock up, but minus one villager. I'm just saying, four was closer than nine. I mean, we had six. Yeah, I mean, yeah, true. What did doc I text say, coming Ted? in for Hera. Yeah. Doc text coming in. There's going to be a doc there, which obviously Doubt knows about. I think Doubt, you know there's one element of Regicide Fortress. He's probably done a lot more times than Hera. It's collecting the extra 50 stone yeah. to get those TCs ready. Yeah. I've seen a lot of players here forget that. On a normal Regicide Fortress start, uh, that's the case, but you don't have water, so you, it's always in your brain. Yeah. But Doubt's at 200 already, so he can go for TC number two and TC number three when he hits Castle Age. And usually people just send one villager out there early, and yep. eventually you're going to have that 50 stone, and then they're fully prepared to make the extra TCs because you only start with 150 stone yep. on these Regicide maps. So Doubt going for a TC on the wood line. He might go for a third TC as well, as we can see the Whoop. nice little slow motion quick wall. That was a fairly easy one as far as, far as quick walls go. Yeah, really important though, right? If he yeah. loses that, big problem. Yeah, that's that's a problem. That really, really kills his momentum on the board. And uh, obviously a lot more kills about to come in where Hera has the numbers advantage by one and micro matters. And honestly, at the end of the day, guys, like neither player wants to give up here, but I don't think investing long-term into water really is gonna matter that much after this fight. Mm -hmm. Bunch of weak ships there for both players, but Hera is microing those away. Yep. Now it says fine, I'll just click the ones that aren't moving. Hera says fine, I'll just move the ones that you just clicked. Yep. And Hera is really, really showing us some great micro with the war galleys. Doubt has managed to force him to invest into that. the water and not fish boom yeah. for a very long time. And now Doubt has an opportunity to get that third TC up and start booming on the land. Listen, we, we gotta call it how it is. Great micro from Hera. Doubt just, he just kind of gave up on it there, Dave. There yeah. was like runners. Well, he's not making any more ships, so yeah, uh, yeah. he's just going fires right now, and he might even try and sneak those fires across rather than dealing with these war galleys and just try and snipe the fishing That would, that would be huge, yeah. You yeah. don't engage here, that's that's the correct call. Um, oh. You just move out, he's loses dead. the villager, loses the fish. But remember, Hera still hasn't built his next TC because he's trying to, as he's gonna wall in and kill an eagle, He's trying to mine the stone on that TC mm -hmm. as part of his plan. Now, he'll lose that villager. There's plumes on the way. I think Doubt's eco count will be really healthy in about five or so minutes. This should be really strong. Yeah, and Mayans, I mean, plumes are pretty cheap to produce, right? They're really mobile. They're not a power unit. Yeah. You really need a lot of them, and you need the full upgrades to make them that way. But still going to be annoying Hera and kind of preventing the monks from going out and snagging those relics, which will give Doubt maybe an opportunity. Also, Doubt has one fire looping along the top side. It's now uh, engaging yeah, against the fishing that's ships from Hera. And also, Hera's, the HP on Hera's ship is still super weak. Solid. Hera has to either give up seven fishing ships or he has to uh, just make a lot more navy, which is further investment Those there. Those ships should die. I think he should shift maybe his fishing focus to that southern pond. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and I'll be curious to see, like, if Hera is going to try and get those relics. I mean, Doubt is all over that dock at the moment. I prefer Doubt's position right now. I think he'll have a really healthy vill count. And plumed archers, I know we talked about them not working before. That was against the Ratha, which is kind of a weird unit. Mm -hmm. um, the Italians do have good answers and, and the skirmishers for the plumes. But at the end of the day, if you get a nice little imp power spike with a a whole bunch of plumed archers, a bracer and chemistry, it could be really hard for the Italians to deal with that. Yeah, and, and 
<clears throat> mines aren't really a civilization, especially when they're going plumes, that you can open condos to. Yeah, exactly. Like, plumes will absolutely feast on those things. So plumes have a really unique bonus, which I think so many people don't know. Regular plumed archers have a plus one attack against infantry, infantry yep. and then elite has plus two. So actually, like elite, if you're going to make an archer against, let's say, Huskarls, which I know a lot of low elo players deal with, don't put this in your plans. But if, you, if you're if you going to choose an if archer... If you're forced to. Plumes are pretty good. I think the new Armenian archer, the, the composite, uh, bowman. composite bowman, that one is actually probably best. But anyways, we, we digress. Doubt now with 55 villagers here of 52. Things are pretty close there. I'm not really sure how that's the case because Hera is just now dropping his third TC, but it has happened, and, and Doubt uh, didn't kill all the fishing ships from Hera. Yep. Well, I mean, Hera lost a couple villagers early, but look at Doubt's idle TC time. Yeah, that's true. He had to keep producing on Navy. He yeah. was using the market a bunch, yeah, which is probably a, a problem for him. And he's making plumes. Hera's not making really that many units on the land except for some monks. Okay, question of the game. With unique units that are ranged, a big play is to use that, take map control, drop a forward castle, go into traps. Yep. Do you try that in the middle? Because the castle's always there, right? Do you try it there against the Italians, which have a cheaper Imperial Age? I think you're always going to be behind to mm -hmm. Imperial Age, right? Okay. So if yep. you're going for a forward castle, especially if it's a production unit or a production building for your main unit, yep. I think you're either doing that to buy yourself time to get your eco sorted, or y you've severely damaged your opponent. Yep. Okay. Earlier. Okay. I, I like I that. Yeah. I think it has to be defensive. Yeah. I like that. Because Mayans, if you get all the techs upgraded, don't feel that bad against Italians. It's just going to be those transitions that oh. are brutal. And Hera already has <laughs> three monks. Is going with the convoy here. This is this is going to be interesting. How does he get him back? Is the question. Well, doubts plumes are they're there, but you know the eagle didn't see that. Mm -hmm. Go, let's go Hera's point of view here. Let's see exactly what he's doing, because this is not easy. He's got the plumes there. Right, he's like, all right, about click, the click, monks. click. Okay, there we go. We'll get that TC up. Not panicking at all. He thought about clicking away, but the TC goes up in time. And the monks are okay. in. All right, there he goes. Okay. He's making crossbowmen, yeah, by the way. Crossbows. Crossbows to deal with the plumes. Lots of farming eco from Hera. That's a really important area for him. He's on five TCs. Jeez, I, I love w the ease at which he just calmly adds farms. Yeah, at every stage of the game, as soon as he has wood. And I think the in. more impressive thing is where the farms are, mm -hmm. right? A lot of people can place farms very quickly. Yeah. And it's just very difficult to have them place so nicely. Yeah. Don't You'd say anything. <laughs> <laughs> just don't. Okay. I, was I, I knew. I know. I know. Response. This, I know. Yeah. I know. Okay. Here comes Doubt. Doubt wants a castle there, Dave. On that hill. That's, Plumes. Ooh, that's a decent castle there. And there's no siege from Hera. There's no siege. Hera only has crossbow, which don't feel the greatest against plumes. Doubt needs this castle but to But there's range. no loom from Doubt. Doubt! What? What? And why not a... What? what? There's a hill. Well, there's also relics. Right there. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, it's a, it's a tale as old as time. What is this? Huh? Doubt. <sighs> Send more villagers, bro. Loom is in, though. I mean, cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel yeah. it. Oh. I mean, Kenny, the man just loves his forward castles. Actual doubt quote. I don't build cast. I build castles to end the game one way or another. And this castle is playing towards Hera's strengths. Oh, my goodness. At least he forced a castle from Hera defensively. Don't at least me right now. That was bad. <laughs> do not okay? at least do me not right at now. least me right now. Okay, <laughs> that and you know where I'm <laughs> quoting that from. <laughs> that I I love your I love your attempt to make that positive, but that's that this is one of those things where we just got to say that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the castle that I I kind of wanted to be. Like, exactly. The, the other one is great if you send the appropriate yeah. amount of villagers. But, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this. Hera's crossbow edition was super nice, dude. That was so good. That's never expecting crossbows in castle. He's expecting Hera to go imp, mm -hmm. and and then Hera's gonna make the army. And I was critical of Hera in game two. I was like, listen, you're giving your opponent a shot because you're late to the numbers. He's early to upgrades. He was early to numbers and earlier than Doubt expected. Doubt probably sent five or six fills because he didn't think there'd be army there. Yep. 
Oh boy, now Hera is looping around with those crossbows. Doubt has an outpost there. He yeah. knows that this is likely coming. He's going to shift his plumes over and bye bye crossbows. Yep. All you got to do is you don't even have to dance with them, just get right next to them. Yep. Yep, Doubt's close enough where no ballistics shouldn't matter, except for this part where no ballistics does matter. And he's going to kill the crossbows in a second, but he still has no ballistics, and Hera can do anything else, but he's going to micro this as well. And Doubt is still chasing the crossbow, and Doubt is really just refusing Bruh. to get close to that, Bruh. and Hera Split is now one, running away with the crossbow. Split one plumed archer And there off. goes the there plume. There we go. Now, there hold on. We, go. we are not finished. We are not finished. I, can we keep looking at that? Because no, that, I, that no? thing just needs to get as close as possible. We need to become best friends. Hera, if he starts to be attacked, will absolutely micro that. And okay, maybe he's just gonna sit back. No, he's forever. coming back. Oh, he's coming back. I mean, if there was a warning for Doubt to get ballistics, then that would that would have been the moment. So hopefully he gets that soon. Maybe an indicator that he will not go for. Doubt's oh. looking. Doubt is definitely looking. He's got the plume over there. Oh, he's found it. It's oh, well, what's happening. It. He doesn't see it. He's not looking. Who wins the fight? He th yeah, he doesn't have time. I for think that. he's losing the fight. He doesn't have time for that. Oh, he clicked it. He his plume died. Right? His plume died. His Hera plume died. We need plume. we need a replay on Harris Micro. <laughs> no, it's fine, man. It's <laughs> fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> That's beautiful, dude. That is that is next level pettiness from Hera if he did indeed micro that and it wasn't just like a the patrol working out. And you gotta love that. You gotta love this series. It's been a beautiful one. Doubt seeing Elite Skirm now, and that's not actually the worst fight in the world. Uh, the worst thing to see in the world if you're going archers. Because you have an incredible unit, which does cost a lot of gold, hello crossbow, mm -hmm. uh, that can counter that in the Eagle Warrior. <clears throat> All right, so we got 132 vills for Hera <laughs> currently. It's, uh, the crossbow died. It died, the crossbow okay, died. there we go. 109 villagers for Doubt, but 29 plumed archers. The, the thing okay. here, though, the thing here that is ideal, okay, ready? Yeah, so? So he patrolled, and Hera goes, whoop, no ballistics. Hi. Whoop, no ballistics. Hi. Whoop, no ballistics. Hello. Uh, how many whoops it whoop hi <laughs> and whoop <laughs> hi. anyways we did okay listen we didn't need a slow mo on that one guys but well played anyways oh my god but i i called it right you just expected it dal pushes forward with the plumes he can still if he keeps his plume number healthy he is a counter to anything the harem might do against eagles so i think plume eagle is actually insane here Plume Eagle could be good, especially if he holds his forward position. Yep. Right? Chemistry coming in now. Also w worth pointing out that uh, the plume Elite Plumed Archer upgrade doesn't cost gold. Yeah. Although it's, it's quite expensive. It's wood food. Yeah. Yep, but that's a good call. It, it, everything synergizes pretty well. But he's not going to have Eagles right now. And Hera has is, is got the skirms. So that has got to be careful. And he's really hoping to take out Hera's castle. But Hera's got his own trebs. Hera has his own, his own skirms, and Doubt doesn't have enough repair this bills. This is good pressure from Doubt. It is. This is really yep. good pressure, and if he can make that switch quickly, if he can get the armor upgrades for the Eagles, yep. he can manage to take out the skirmisher army. And that's good for Doubt. Yeah, and I think, honestly, uh, I'm curious to see if Doubt thinks he can just hold that position here. The more time he buys himself for the Eagle switch, the better. Yep. But you don't want to lose your treps when Hera's got that army that you pretty much can't contest. Yeah, so just back up for now, feels like. Or maybe angle into a different position, maybe attack oh, a little bit further Oh, that was really unfortunate north. for Doubt. Yeah, <laughs> definitely should have planned to unpack that treb instead of getting <laughs> yeah. shot while it's packed in position. Hera's making a, a, a tech switch here into stables. Yeah, so well. Hera's army is insanely cost-effective. Skirms are just food wood. It's likely Hussar. Um, I actually would love Cavalier. If you really know Eagles are coming, I think Cavalier is an epic play. It, it becomes uncomfortable for players. They don't like to to invest into that. Beautiful here. walls from both too. They both yeah. sense exactly what's happening. So yep. Doubt's trying to wall. Unfortunately, Hera has the water control. Hera's trying to wall. Unfortunately, that same plume that probably <laughs> killed the crossbow and still doesn't have is ballistics. Over here. Yep. So yeah, he's still missing it. And Hera, <laughs> Hera doesn't know. I mean, no ballistics is a big deal with 25 yep. plumes with these it upgrades. It is really a big deal. But I mean, Doubt is focusing on the Eagles. Right? He's getting Elite Eagle right now. Is he is he going to go for El Dorado and a mass before he reveals it? Yeah, that's the problem. Sometimes you feel forced as the Bomber Cannon goes down. That'll help Doubt. You feel forced to take engagements before it. But I really think for this to work for Doubt, he needs to engage with El Dorado and with about 20 Eagles minimum. 
I'm worried for doubt. The plumed archers are desperately running around. They're getting sniped by the skirmishers. And Hera's eco is insane. And he expects eagles because he's already killing yep. the plumes. And he's actually adding hand cannons. This is perfect from Hera. Yeah, yeah. He's played in Doubt's position before. He knows the tech switch, right? He knows what Doubt should be planning behind that. And he can look at the upgrades on the plumed archers and see, like, oh, those aren't elite. Yeah, yep. yep. Very and, interesting. Yep, exactly. And Hera boomed up to a massive ill count so we can afford everything. Bomber cannon? Oh, and oops. right now, I mean, the plume number is so low, Dave. I don't think El Dorado is even something Doubt can afford. Everything is falling apart for Doubt right now. Yeah, Doubt is losing that castle forward. He goes for another one, though, and the Eagles are in. The hand cannons are here, though, from Hera. Brilliant job from Hera. Doubt, he, he's playing this really well, but I mean, Hera is just one step ahead of him. Yeah, now you've gone like ballistics and Eagle's your main army, mm -hmm. right? You have such a low mass. The timing has not worked out here for Doubt. And the important thing for Hera, continue this push, bring your trebs and cannons, and push these castles down Doubt from Doubt. might be able to get a lead plumed archer now. That, that, that'd be and, nice. And he's already got 13 again. Yep. He's got a decent amount of, of castles, or he does currently. Hera's trebbing them down as well. Yep. And uh, he's still massing up the Eagles behind. It's just, you've got to save so much for those upgrades, right? And he wants to put that in the units currently. Yeah. And it's so tricky. This is why the, the control Eldorado. with the castles was so important for Delt. But Eldorado. probably, like, one of the most important unique techs in the game. Like, it adds such a high percentage of HP for your units. Eldorado's on the way. If there was ever a tech that could swing it, this would be it for Doubt. But the gunpowder is really the biggest problem in there. Gunpowder is a huge problem. Also, another problem, Hera's eco is walled. Yeah. El Dorado, you usually want the eagles like funneling in to the opponent's eco. They can run right under castles, TCs, everything. But so much of Hera's eco is already protected. And you have to now push the hand cannons in the center. It's just a brutal position for Doubt. And now, Adding to the frustration, more Hussar raids coming in. This is Hera. really good. Hera recognizes every time he's 200 pop, he tosses Hussars into the eco. Sometimes you're worried to not have a meat shield, mm -hmm. but what you're okay with losing units to, uh, you know, when you're popped. And of course, what better way to lose units than out there to kill your opponent's villagers? So, I mean, doubt, doubt's gold to right there, Dave. Yeah. This is a this is a cannot lose type of position but I think Hera's really got a, a good foothold here. I love the, the patrol from Hera, so Hera's making his life easier. Incredible player with skill, but he just keeps the hand cannons back, yep. and he'll put the skirms in front. That's fine. The hand but, cannons use is to protect the siege. Yep. That's it. Yeah, and then the bomber cannons do the rest, of course. And look at him. He even just, he throws in skirmishers there. He's like, you're not going to repair or take that gold on my watch. Yep. Okay, your plumed archers. I can always replace those because I've got an incredible Q. I've got 71 on food currently. Yep. And I've got Hussars making their way in, too, as Doubt goes for yet another castle behind this. He's lost both of those on the gold, has lost the gold access forward. It's not looking good. Yeah, to quote something Neely once said, this is the play of a broken man. I think Doubt's right now looking at this like, I could have had this work out for me. I'm frustrated. But honestly, his army's looking much bigger than it was moments ago. He's, he's really pushing Hera a little hesitant as he should be because he could lose all of his siege to the Eagles. But what Eagles? <laughs> the Eagles are disappearing before us. Plumes and Eagles trading against the hand cannons, trading against the Hussars. And the Trebs are still firing on that castle. Yeah, Trebs are still working away, but it shows how strong El Dorado is, yeah, right? True, they just true. ate yeah. right through all of those units. Doubt's got a YOLO engagement going here. Unfortunately, he still has to put gold into buying stone to repair the castle. He realizes it's not a tenable position. He's going to call the GG. Hera takes game number three. It's 2-1 Hera. Doubt did much better with the mind see, than I expected. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. And, and honestly, do you see him just like kind of look up to the sky? Yeah. It's a bit weird. He is the Lord, so I don't know who he's talking to. But, but anyways, like... I think he's frustrated with himself a little bit. He's going to have to get past that because um, he, the castle, Dave, the castle, man, like he, he lost villagers. Yep. If that castle is defensive, he has more plumes. You know, ballistics was a bit late. You know, that was a game where Harrow went for this crazy boom. Just imagine if Doubt was, was a bit closer there or had a bit more army to work with. Uh, and like you said, the Eagles and the plumes were actually really good. He just, he lost so much control before then. Yep. Thank you for the continuing donations, by the way. We see we're 2,300 away from breaking even, and that means no stress for Nilly. Well, 
limited stress <laughs> for Neil Lee. I going to say. Because <laughs> the money isn't coming out of his own pocket. And then we can start adding to the prize pool. Yep. So thank you so much. This community has been awesome leading up to NAC. And, of course, at the event right now, we've got Andy, Memb, Tiramis. Is that Timon right there? And then yes. Tato? Yep, yep. Nice. And or then no, no, Nilly's right hand. Yep. Uh, that is your organizer right there and his right uh -oh, hand. Here so. it comes. Is he? Yeah, I. He looks like. They looks like my villager when I tell them to go to a woodline. Patient, they, patient eighty nine has escaped again. They path away. <laughs> <laughs> they path away like that. Yeah. They shuffle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess maybe they moonwalk. I don't know, but. Thank you, Nilly. That was the most normal Nilly I've seen today, actually. So. <clears throat> Anyways, next game coming up. When has ACCM not been in that training room? Dude, ACCM and Yo have been grinding. Yo, today. you did you guys just train more? How oh, okay. Many, how many sets did you play today? Okay, Yo said they didn't not train anymore. Is it? <laughs> they've been in there all day. Oh, oh they've been watching. watching. They've okay. been watching. Okay, okay, we've been called out. Sorry. Yeah. Well, anyways, it's it's cool to to see this room. I, I had an idea. It's probably like not really community building, <laughs> but like the player who loses the most should Imagine have to stand in the middle. Right he's like he's like oh let me tell you about these idiot <laughs> Come on, ACCM. Let's go outside so we can talk <laughs> some like, smack. <laughs> like, okay, so let's let's say like GL's doing some training sessions here. Like the player that loses the most on the day should have to like sit in the middle, mm -hmm. just sit there for like 30 minutes as punishment. Is that too? On the plant. <laughs> is there a plant in there? Oh, you haven't seen the plant? I did not see the plant. Dude, it is growing. Wow, they did a great job covering up. It's probably all the wires. It was really creative. No, there's a there's a plant. Oh. It regenerates the oxygen in the room. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, what I had said before that game. There we go. Oh, there's. There the is multiple plants. All right. Thank you for the zoom. All right. Slow pan across. <laughs> definitely aren't real. Plants. Beautiful. There is Twitch chat. Yeah, I mean, it's all good, dude. But listen, this is going to be tougher for Doubt now. Obviously, he's down a game. But the bigger picture here was I think he felt very comfortable with Mayans on Copenhagen and felt like that was doable. Hey, expecting something like Italians. And then I think when Fortified Clearing comes up, which might be now, he also has something that he thinks he can work with. Yep. Um, now that's going to need to win his home map. And then also Hera's home map. So it is an uphill battle. But what a series this has been. This has been amazing. Sibs for Fortified Clearing. Hera picked Cumans quite early here. Mm -hmm. I don't feel Khmer and Portuguese are that comfortable. I think he actually goes Cumans. Um, I, I know there's been a lot of training with the Cumans from various players. Yeah. And I imagine Hera's been on the other end of that or maybe overheard or maybe, I mean, these are competitors standing right next to each other, walking by each other, maybe a little glance over a shoulder here or there. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I think Cumans. I think Doubt, I know he went poles in the qualifier uh, with success, but... Also, it was a game that made Nilly very mad. Um, Nilly felt as though Doubt should have maybe not won that game. And, and Doubt lost another villager. He lost another villager to a boar. Oh, my God. Middle-aged man, 5'11", shirtless, uh, spotted. I mean, I just feel bad for the guy, dude. I mean, we've got to say it. It's just, it's not... Not something that should be happening. I'm not sure what's going on here. But he's down a vill now. Talking positives, though, Dave. What happens when the Malay advance faster to the next stage? Well, when the Malay advance faster to the next stage, they generally have a villager advantage, which should play into Doubt's favor. It's usually around two. Right now, it's going to be around I, one. That, I just, I, I'm not, like, that's an easy garrison there for me. I'm not really sure what's going on. It has yeah. been a long day. It is midnight here. Maybe that's, or past midnight, maybe that's part of it. Uh, Dow is one of the few players to not weaken boars with TCs, by the way. Um, in any, like, hidden well, no, format, he, that's no, something he, you look he has, for? He has started doing that recently. Okay. I think, I think Please don't shoot the boar with the TC and kill it. He won't. No, he's fine. I don't. I'm scared. He's, he's fine, dude. Okay. He's been playing this game longer than you've... Not... I'm old. He has not been playing longer than I've been alive. Speaking. <laughs> Hey, dude, I was, listen, from what my family tells me, I was so annoying, I was probably speaking right out of the womb, so <laughs> I don't know about okay, that one. Okay, since but. anyone's been paying attention to you. <laughs> uh, well, you know, the whole, the whole Vil loss thing for Doubt obviously hurts, right? But 
you're really in your head a little bit already mm -hmm. as, as Dale pushes the deer away from the TC against the Cumans because you think the Cumans are going to go for the second TC. So any initial strategy you might want to go for, yep. you then think, I have to switch that into some level of pressure against the Cumans sooner rather than later, right? Um, and I normally think Night Siege on an open map. This map has stone walls. I'm not really sure. Like, I think what Dell could do is just go straight fast castle and then try and get to three town centers mm -hmm. and just not pressure at all. But I'm curious to see what Dell's going to go for. I mean, you could go for some, like, sort of castle drop or some sort of outrageous pressure, too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I Yeah, actually, that would be decent. But it, then again, it's like you're really hoping that castle's on the main gold. Yeah. Because if it's not... It, it feels like Karambit Rush is not really the play against TCs. Well, I mean, if you're going for that castle drop, then you're aiming basically for Imperial Age, right? Oh, true. Break yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I think anything involving the melee here is going to definitely have to take advantage of your faster transitions yeah. and your faster uptimes. It's obviously going to be tough, especially since you lost that villager. Yep. <clears throat> It's going to be really, really difficult to come back from that. So, yeah, I'm, a lot of this was from the qualifier. Doubt was the the only one to defeat the Malay, so he should understand yeah. you know, maybe how good the Malay are and what their strengths and weaknesses are. But, you know, back to the Cumans, it is a very... It's not a pick that we've always associated with Hera. Um, he has been one that been in agreement with my statement and Nikov's statement, I think, of... Very hard to play against, very hard to play with. Yeah. Right? It's really hard to get the balance right. Uh, it's very easy to overboom sometimes and then be pressured. But on a closed map, they've always been seen as one of the best. It's just the exception here is it is open on the backside. But not a lot of people pressure on that backside anymore, right? Yeah, true. It's not worth it. Yep. It's definitely not worth it because your opponent is so far ahead economically by the time you get back there. And Harris should feel fairly comfortable. He's going to take the engagement. Against Stout Scout over here. Doubt is just gonna wall on the backside. He's gonna get his upgrades and horse collar coming in. And I just I just wonder. Uh, uh run away doubt. Run away. Use the Vill. Use the Vill. Nice job. That's a nice save. Beautiful. Uh Hera's gonna be a nerd though. And Doubt is just gonna keep running. Well and done. Gonna and trap goes it. for the gate. Wonderful. Harris okay. just trying to force out some idle time here. Doubt is coming in with the scout. And the TCs won't hit anything, because they never do. And the scout survives for Hera. He gets the snipe. You know, I thought Doubt, like, if he completes that gate, right, and he, you know, and then has Hera walled in, yep. he can actually leave. No, and Hera, he should. He and Hera never left. can. Yeah, yeah, he should have just left. So I, I think he was really hoping to, you know, feeling, feeling down here to try and get the kill, but that's got to make Hera feel much better about his situation. I mean, Hera's one hit away from death, right? <laughs> so he's going he's gonna to do this all day. Yeah. He's absolutely going to do this all day, and Doubt is... Doubt, don't even pull a vill. Like, he's not going to kill you with two HP. Yep. I think I'd be curious to see Hera's micro here at this point. That's the other one. That yep. one. There we go. Hera is in the blue. He's got one HP, literally, on that scout. Watch him get housed because he's so he's focused on farms, the scout. And look, He's trying to bait Doubt, and he comes back again. He places a few more farms, you know, fix your eco a little bit. He sits it closer to tempt Doubt. Yeah, yeah. And is Doubt going to do it? Yeah, and then he, he's still he waiting. looks again. A little closer. Let's yeah, see. Will Doubt do this it? Time. And nope. Doubt, Doubt is just patiently waiting. He's like a fisherman with a lure, right? He sees the fish right there, <laughs> and he's just he's just waiting to reel it in. But but he's been fishing for 10 hours, and he is pissed at the oh, fish. Oh, he's tired. Yeah, this is not this is not a joyful fisherman. This is a very Hera, upset come fisherman. Come on, dude, don't. Dude, doubt don't give him the opportunity, bro. Just just. It's crazy. It's like <laughs> it's like place two farms and then go back to the scout. <laughs> it's like we place two farms, <laughs> right? Like we got to chop some straggler trees first. Yeah. yeah. But there's clearly uh, one farm, okay, and then you go back to the scout and you try and bait another villager. It's ridiculous. Let's, okay, we literally have nothing else to talk about right now. Doubt's going mini boom, fuel age, FC, maybe some pressure. Yeah. At what minute, at what time, at what second does that scout die? You want a hard call out on the scout? I, th I think so, yeah. I think, I think it, makes it, it more might fun. escape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, maybe a little. Maybe now we're seeing a barracks. I think there's a, there's a non-zero percent chance <laughs> that it escapes the space somehow. Doubt's no. making a palisade wall. No, no, scout. no. That that scout dies probably soon. I'm going. I'm, I'm going, going like 1320. 1359 okay. for me. Okay. Okay. And now I didn't I didn't go 1321 and be like, oh, I'm closer if it's above it. Yeah. I want you to respect that. Yeah. But listen, I mean, doubt. I think he had to expect the humans. 
The only really bad thing, well, there's been two kind of bad things, the villager and then the scout, but is that a blacksmith from him? Yeah, so I didn't think Doubt's going to go spears. <laughs> oh God. TCs don't hit anything. Hera's being annoying. Hera recognizes TCs aren't going to hit him. He still has not escaped, and he may escape someday, but his eco is flying, Dave. Nice 10 villager lead for him. His, his eco is looking pretty good, but Doubt's about to click up to Castle Age. Doubt is up to Castle Age, and we'll see what Doubt goes on to. He's actually going on to stone, and this scout makes things very annoying for <gasps> Doubt because it's giving Hera a ton of information. <laughs> So when Harris sees that mining camp, he's like, oh, you want to castle drop me? <laughs> oh, I see that. Uh! <laughs> oh, I can't even oh focus on anything goodness. else. Hera, let it die so I could focus. No, nope. okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was close. That was really close. What did I say? 13, 20. Look at, they're, they're both laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Scouting until two. I know. See it the saw, villagers coming well, forward. It saw the stone. Uh, it saw the stone, Tristan. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh. I almost did. Oh, oh, oh my freaking god! My heart. Oh, oh it escaped! Ah! I called Doubt! it. Out, Hera! What just happened? It got out. Oh, uh, what in the world? Now that scout could be used to kill hundreds of monks that could see the rest of the map. He's gonna heal it up. He's healing it up. I know Hera. He's bringing it back. He's adding a monastery. No, this, He's healing this, this thing. This scout lives life on the edge. No, 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 no. This, this scout is, does not. This get is healed. the beginning of a multiple series of YouTube shorts on Hera's there, channel. hundred percent. No, this scout's a castle blocker. That's what it is. It, it's well, a yeah, castle at, fir blocker. at first, hundred percent. He's yep, casting. Yep, he's yep, he's yep, blocking yep, the castle yep, foundation. Yep, yep, yep. It continues to be annoying. And now the spear is blocking the castle foundation and castle's on the way. Okay. Serious time. This is the castle drop we discussed, right? Yeah. You said fast stimp behind this can be really good. Here's the <laughs> replay. Watch their face when this happens. I mean, just doubts laughing. See ya. Hera's laughing. <laughs> but they've got their serious faces on now. And as that scout will look for monks, it is really difficult to pull off a fast stimp with this many villagers for Yeah. I think, like, siege... Karambits may be the only thing, but you really can't get that much out. Of that well, castle. I mean, uh, you're talking about fast simp. Look at the food eco for Doubt. He's got nine on food currently. Yeah. It's it's so tough yeah. to get anything going here. And we look at the villager count for Hera, 55, 20 on food currently. His resources when he gets to Castle Age are kind of ridiculous. It's he's adding in a house wall behind this to prevent the pressure from coming in right away, and he's adding a third um, TC. I'm scratching my head here. If he clicks with that castle on that wall immediately, that wall's already almost down. Yep. That really needs to be through. He's adding a ram. Well, he was going to add a ram, but, like, this feels toothless, right? This feels like it lacks something more. But he is gathering the relics behind it, at least. Yeah, yeah. There and Hera, goes, can't, Hera can't annoy him with that scout anymore, so he's just going to explore the relics a little bit. And Hera's even getting hand cards, so Hera's eco is flying. Yeah, and, like, you're going to have Siege. Hera can make two stables, make a couple more scouts, and we know what he can do with those. And the Siege can't advance very far. This is an amazing position for Hera. Mm-hmm. And this is the pressure that's put on you when you're fighting up against the humans. You feel like you need to do this, even with Malay, a sieve that, you know, might be able to go up fast castle and try and equal out their boom. Yep. Uh, it just gets in your head. Just humans, you're like, I need to take that map position forward. Hera needs to win this game so we can talk about the day the scout survived forever. Yeah. Yep. Like, right? Like, for his sake, if he loses this... And then loses the series. Imagine, no one talks about the scout. Imagine he comes back into Doubt's eco and starts running around. <laughs> well, the doubt is Walt, right? Which Hera knows there's about. There's an overchop. Oh, well, there's no. You don't go back Do in it. there. Do it. He don't go back in there. No, come on. Just, for the, for he's the, not. For once, he's not looking there. He's scouting the map. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but okay. I mean, again, you go forward. This is actually a fast imp attempt from Doubt. Nice snipe it? on the monk there. Is he actually doubt. going fast imp? Wow. He's trying to, and he has the relics too, so he's generating a little bit of gold. He's got five relics, and look at his resources. Yeah. Really solid job from Doubt. 
Um, Malay have a decent economy of their own. Like, yep. you should have a villager advantage over any other Civ when you're going up because you go up faster. And Doubt, he still has 46 villagers behind this with Horse Collar on his first little batch of farms. Hera comes forward, snipes. Kills two monks. Two monks. But Doubt Doubt's is in a position to click up shortly. Doubt's castle is attacking the gate. Ooh. He, I don't, I don't, I assume that's a right click. That castle didn't fire any shots on the light cap. Hera can see that gate's being attacked. I, this is not going wrong, right for Doubt here. Now he, there we go. He fixes it. But still, I mean, castle fire. It only fires so quickly, and Hera oh. just takes it out as well. Oh man, this is exactly. I mean, Doubt said he predicted the draft. He also predicted this would happen. Yeah. He kept it's, talking about light cap running around sniping things. It's about to get wild though because doubt has clicked up he's aiming to drop another castle yeah now the cumans have a, a tremendous ability to push this back because they're the only save to get capped ram and castle yep i think if you're hera it, he loves to make stable units i think oh god hold on this castle he's got he's got a mangonel if he attack grounds at the right moment okay doubt wisely That's not puts going the up. castle on the other side, That's but he's only got up. one hole to go through. That will not go up. To get to this castle. That will not go up. That is That is, castle is going to be denied. Doubt has no loom. This is the second time in this series. He's placing and a he's castle without loom. And he's only got one loom. TC, and it's going Imperial Age currently. Oh, man. Doubt. I mean. He should have loom. Harris played incredible. Does he not have loom? He doesn't, no. He doesn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, my God. I mean, this is a man. He... He thinks it's a land of 1 HP scouts out there to get him. <laughs> he figures that without Loom, he could be okay. But, I mean, the fill count's not good, Dave. Like, I'm thinking Capped Ram, all in Knights, mm -hmm. and then Hera can just breeze through this. I bit. don't even think you need the Capped Ram. I think I think you can just, just hold make all knights. of this position, and then you yeah. snipe the Trebs. Yeah. And if Doubt feels safe behind your walls, well, Hera can delete those walls. Yeah. And just run in with the knights, and there's not going to be that much there because he sniped the monks before. Yeah. And it's not like Doubt can afford that much yep. to add into this army comp. It's just going to be karambits. Hera has played so smooth here for Doubt. He needed everything to go right. And a lot of important things, a lot of crucial things have gone wrong here. Did he get Loom? He must have maybe queued it. I, I missed it. Uh, still no Loom. Still no Loom. Still no Loom. If you're going to win, you might as well win without Loom. Yep. You know what? That sends a message to the game five if nice we get there. Nice attack round. Beautiful attack But the Krambits yeah. are dead. The castle is going to be denied. And Doubt's Trebuchet could easily be sniped by even pair of villagers at this point. And it, it continues to go from bad to worse for Doubt, who knew he would have a very, very tough time beating Hera today. But... I think the last two games, there's been a bit of maybe self-implosion here. Well, I mean, Cumans is really tough to match up against, yep. and, and especially when Hera is running around with that scout yep. in the middle of your base, and he knows that you're going into a castle because he sees the stone with yep. the scout. Yep. It, it's just it's just a position that it's really, really tough to mentally come back from, I yep. think. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that, and I think he really looked at this series as he, he could lose this trip on the left side. I think he looked at the series thinking Another he needed to win round. with Mayans, Dave. What's the HP on that Castle Foundation? Um, 768. So okay. that's fine. The Treb, though, Another is not. Round. Oh, my God. He's filthy with it, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, you know, Doubt's just sending in a unit or two at a time. Hera's easy, easy pickings here. Treb's going down. Doubt has had no protection. And Hera now, 50 villager lead. Doubt needs to get this castle up now. It has to happen. Capped Ram is coming in from Hera. Capped Ram is coming in from Hera. The villagers are working away on the castle. It's only four villagers. Hera has such an incredible economic lead. He's at 108 villagers. He's got two Rams already on the field, two more in the queue, forging on the way, and the eco upgrades are astounding for him. We compare that economy to Doubts. Is 10k resources gathered. I want to see Hera shift delete all his walls right now. Yep. Like shift yep. delete him, send the Open message. It up. Just yep. boom. Like you don't need him. You do not need him. Um, and it only benefits Doubt for yeah. you to have those walls. Yep, I, I think I think we might see it. Shift delete, whoosh, all at once, and then he just pushes that castle down. Yeah, as soon as the rams pop out. Yeah, Hera's got so many resources. He's collected 10,000 more resources. There is nothing Doubt has been able to do over the last couple minutes to, to have a chance. It, it really felt bad even with the fast imp. The, the no loom thing still is kind of like... No, eh. loom is in. Oh, okay. There yeah, we go. loom came in a while ago. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, here we go. Doubt's going to try and complete <laughs> he this. And the there castle, it is. But unfortunately, oh, he deleted the castle. He deletes the siege workshop. He says it never happened. <laughs> Forget about it completely. GG. Doubt's kind of smiling there. Hera playing amazing the last few games. But Doubt 
I mean, honestly, in that series, Doubt had some incredible moments. Like a game I agree. one, I agree. Game two as well. I think Doubt factored into his to beat Hera today. Yeah, he was. He always felt like he loses the game we just watched. Always. Yeah. But it was the the Copenhagen game where it needed to be a bit better. And then who knows what would have happened in game number uh, yeah, 